test. Yes. Yeah. For the or technical time. Yes, and technical problems never occur. <laughs> <laughs> this was a flawless beginning. <laughs> Well, welcome back. Here we are. We're on book 10 of Candlekeep Mysteries, Candlekeep Deconstruction by Amy Warple, if you are a nerd and wanted to know that. Apparently so we need to be level 10? No, you are level 9. <laughs> 14. 14. <laughs> And take four levels of monk real quick. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that would be interesting. Although, way to step on my toes. I'm not, I will not allow it. <laughs> all right, well, thank you all for being here today. We are going to be picking up just a few days after our last adventure in Lore of LaRue. Um, just a couple things I wanted to kind of remind everybody. This adventure does take t place at Candlekeep. Hooray! I'm very excited about that. Um, so just a couple reminders about what Candlekeep is, right? So we've got a bunch of avowed acolytes, readers of all different levels. The three most important people at Candlekeep are, of course, our Keeper of Tomes, Janusi, our first reader, Bookworm, and the Archmage, Kalen Strongbranch. So just kind of wanted to remind you about these important people. <laughs> not to throw off any rhythm, oh, no. but please tell me Janusi is a Janasi. He is not. Okay. Oh, damn. That would have been amazing. Is he a Tabaxi? Yes. Uh, I don't know what he is, but I know he's not a Janasi. <laughs> I know that much. Um, Bookworm is a, is a Dragonborn. <laughs> I know that one. Yeah. Does um, she see fire? Very much so. Yes. Like, she does books. <laughs> Speaking of fire, I will remind you that in Candlekeep you cannot use fire magic and you cannot create fire larger than a candle flame. flame. So, just a couple of little quick reminders. All right, so does anybody want to do anything before we pick up? Um, like it said, it's only been a few days, but I don't know if, Bo, you want to return in some fashion or you got something for us, Rio? I just have a, a few questions. A, am I still a werebore? Oh, I forgot about that. I mean, there should be somebody at Candlekeep that could have cured us the day I mean, we got I, back. I would just love I'm to. Asking. Yeah, I would I, say. I think that is why I learned the spell Greater Restoration in this level up was okay. to. To resolve that our, issue. Yes. I think I that's like a that. good idea. I didn't want that to be a hanging thread unless you wanted to hang. And of course, I think there would definitely be somebody here at Candlekeep. Who is now Carol? Is Carol the one? Is the one, and you are able to figure that out. Is the cure all? I was gonna say, if somebody named Carol, I should probably get more healing spells. <laughs> Uh, and then, uh, I, just a personal note: Where did we land on me switching from spores to shepherd? It seemed like we all landed on no for that. Um, but I think I think I'm open to you if there was something you worked towards. I guess more. I think that's what we talked about. Like if there was like a plot point. It yeah. made sense. And like the unicorn like makes sense, but like no, you like work. Yeah. Unicorn could be the start of the transition. There you go. Yeah. Could be something that yeah piques that interest. Okay. Cool. So we will go to oh sorry, did anyone want to do anything? Bo, did you want to arrive back or you're good? No. He's not here for this adventure. Bo no, just I'm joking. Bo just rolls in. I need you here. <laughs> I mean it, it's even possible that Bo never left. Yes, I'm... that's true. I guess <laughs> no, I'm just saying because like, like we went into the book, right? And then we were gone for. I mean, was it like did we displace any time while in the book? Like, was it real time in the book, or were we instantly back when we left? Does it say? Oh, wait, does I mean, it displace just, time? Are you just back? Okay, so like we disappeared and then reappeared. Well, <laughs> ooh, the plot holes, possibly. Uh, yeah, time, we're going to say time passed because Bo left. Okay. okay. So. Okay. It would also be funny if we returned 300 years in the future. Oh, gosh. Said, Who are you? Oh. <laughs> Everyone we have ever known is dead. Oh. I probably still know some people <laughs> <laughs> in health context. I mean, Bo would definitely be dead. <laughs> How do you know? His turtles only live 50 years. But we would have gone 300. <laughs> You don't know. I guess both. You been don't know both secrets. <laughs> both the Galapagos turtle. <laughs> what? I, one of those rare moments where I'm like, I don't have a quip for that. <laughs> where are they? Just <laughs> if, if Bo's just walking back in 
casually, I would imagine Kirill with in the middle of casting greater restoration over Paige, like staring fucking daggers. <laughs> Where have you been? I I I left. Uh, we had werebores. Yeah, have you done any research? Wait, werebores came room? in the kennel keep? Have you been doing any research on the room lately? Or the lore? I found a book about the room. Yeah, yeah where? It was a bad touch book. Where? Wait, where, you where? read it? You well, we opened it. I, I we kind of read it. I kind of, yeah. We, we lived it. Yeah, and I almost There's, died. It was actually she got in a fight with like a giant unicorn but, like monster thing, and she almost died. She got turned into a wolf. That's true. And this one and that one, who is presently passed out uh, in the process of greater restoring. You, wolfy boy. I no, I. You could try to wear oh, a canthropy. I saw you howling. <laughs> Just make sure you get rid of the bushy tail, and you'll be fine. There's no writing in this book. But there yeah, is but if you read the first page. Yeah, where did you find it anyway? I would be very interested to see what other books are close by, or if we can find a like a it whole was, compendium. I know where it goes, and then I chuck it into the fire. <laughs> you are immediately arrested. <laughs> For real, because Bo's going to arrest you because he's one of the guards. I'm pretty sure we said last week that the I book disappeared. disappeared. Okay. That's why I was making a joke. But. <laughs> No, so they, can I roll dexterity for like mage hand for this? <laughs> All right, well, so we'll go ahead and pick up. Um, it's very early in the morning, kind of the darkest part of the night, uh -huh. um, very early. And Kirill, you come awake. You are not really sure if something woke you up or if what happened, but you just are of a sudden you realize that you have awakened. Are you alone? <laughs> Ooh, good question. Ooh, I, I love alone. this one. Okay. That's not a question. Was that a knock on the door? Not sure. You're not sure what happened. Uh, I'll I'll push back the brocade covers and and get out of bed and kind of straighten myself, make sure that my my nightgown is covering what it needs to. Um, brocade covers. <laughs> yes, of course it is. <laughs> he, has, he has a lot of anxiety. Um, I'll I'll press to to take a candle on to kind of light the room dimly. Um, and see if I can see what caused the noise. Okay. You look around, there's not really anything out of place. You check the door, there's nobody in the hall. Um, and as you kind of go to the window, you look outside and you see uh, just kind of the moonlight hitting a head that is very familiar to you. It is Naya's head. And she seems to be outside with bags around her feet. Bags around her feet? Mm -hmm. Um, I... And as you're looking out the window, she looks back at you. Ah, uh, oh, uh, I, I'll open the window, <laughs> and uh, and I'm trying to. How far away is she? Farther than you'd probably want to shout to her. Okay. Um, I'll just. I don't have message. Sorry, uh, I totally do. Oh. <laughs> I'm I, like, oh, I could no, I'm not there. Is since she's looking at me, I'll, I'll like hold up my hands, and, <laughs> and then run down uh, into the courtyard, kind of wrapping a heavier robe around myself so that I'm not indecent in the public here. It's so early, darling. What are you doing up? What are you doing with bags around you? Well, I'm afraid you've caught me. I have a bit of bad news. I. I'm leaving Candlekeep forever. It has been a dear home to me these past few years, but unfortunately I have to return home. For... Forever, forever? Well, for the foreseeable future. As you see, I'm getting married, and he may live a long time. I... I can't change myself. Um, <laughs> I, I don't even know what to do with that information. Um, uh, can I? Do you? I okay. First of all, congratulations. <laughs> that is it's terrible fantastic. News, oh, terrible! I didn't news. know you to be cruel. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't realize it was that. <laughs> 
generally well, weddings are time to celebrate in my people's culture. Yes, I I have seen people rejoice in lifelong unions, but I always thought that was never for me. Alas, family obligations have gotten the way. Well, certainly we can... Do you mind if I just do something really quick? <laughs> I, I mean, no offense in it. Do what you need to do, darling. <laughs> I cast a spell magic on her. <laughs> mm, I, feel, I feel invigorated. Okay. I just wanted to make sure that it was actually you and that you weren't under some sort of... Uh, I wish, darling. Compulsion. If only it were that easy. I mean, if perhaps if you can stay until the morning, it's something that we can discuss, try and find a loophole or a way out of it, if it's something that you're you're dreading, especially. Well, it has been something I've been avoiding for years. Maeve, you may have noticed I've been home several times lately, trying to find some way out of it, but alas, it looks like my father is holding me to this arranged marriage. But I will, of course, shoulder this burden. Are you with expected race. to be faithful? What? Um, great question. Sorry. Uh, you know, I, I probably am expected to be outwardly faithful, yes. Okay, well, so at least not everything's terrible. You know, these arranged marriages are fickle. I'm so sorry. I'm still reeling from this. And the idea of, of you not being here, is there any way we could convince, perhaps with weaponry and ropes and magic, uh, him to move here? <laughs> Yes, maybe keep him in the cellar? Maybe we could consider that in the future. I will, um, I do have a few tricks up my sleeve, so I hope that things will be turned around, but I need to handle this on my own. I can't go back and tell them that I just let you go. That I trust you and that you have this under control and that you'll tell us if you need us. Absolutely. And I'm a terrible at goodbyes. That's why I wanted to leave now. If you maybe just don't tell everybody else. Let them think I swept off in a grand adventure. You know me, I don't want anyone to think I'm acting under anyone else's orders. I... I... I can try, but they're all going to want to try and help me with this. Yes, I don't want them to worry about that. I'm worried. Mm. I'm worried too, but we'll be okay, darling. All right. Well, since you are terrible at goodbyes, and since I will likely be dead if you are stuck there for too long, how about enjoy the journey? You have been a kind friend to me, she hugs you. I'll come up with something. I know, I know you'll do me right. She gets into some sort of conveyance and rides away. <laughs> moon bubble. Kirill <laughs> just sits on the ground in the courtyard <laughs> and watches her exit. And then just kind of stays sitting there, staring off in the direction that she left until the sun begins to rise and he realizes that he's going to be seen and decent uh, and makes the slow return to his room part a little emptier than when he was awoken. As you move back to your room, the... the the first kind of rays of twilight or just twilight dusk dawn that's what the word <laughs> dawn um kind of stretching across the sky you see um a very squat dark figure kind of moving towards you um kind of shuffle stepped not fast by any means um and as he comes closer you are approached by a decrepit gray bearded dwarf in a custodial uniform carrying a heavy square tome bound in black leather the weight of the book causes the old dwarf to wheeze squint and clench his teeth before he can utter a word his knees buckle and he collapses with the book pressed underneath him I will rush over to help him up. <laughs> Are you okay? Here's to not be responsive. Uh, uh, 
Help! Help! <laughs> um, I will, uh, I'll cast, um, a healing word on him <laughs> and see if there's any response. No response. I keep shouting for help then. Okay. And the book's beneath him or on top of him? It's like it's trapped underneath him, but he's okay. the dwarf. You could move him and assign yeah. him. Yeah, I'll, I'll try and just rest him on his back so that he's not having the weight of it anywhere, like on crushing his arms or something. Funnily enough, Kaylin Strongbranch, our archmage, happens to be starting his morning shift. He's walking kind of the perimeter. He hears you yelling and he runs up to you. Oh my goodness, what's going on? I don't know. He just collapsed. He was dragging the book and it seemed like it... Remember, out on him. Buron? He's one of our custodians. What's he doing? He, uh, bookworm, or sorry, what did I say? Kaylin. <laughs> Kaylin <laughs> starts uh, kind of assessing his body. He's dead. Stay with him. I've got to go get some help. So okay. he kind of goes to go get some additional people. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> If, if anybody else would like to be. Say, if, I, if I could find All a right, messenger, yeah. I'll send them over to <laughs> <laughs> Uh, if I if I can find if anybody passes, I'll send them to to alert whoever they can find of the three of you. Uh, I'm doing kitchen prep while Zindi does her morning reading over her coffee that I always make her dawn because Zindi doesn't sleep, so <laughs> and she's not allowed to use the coffee maker anymore. So <laughs> I tried that once. <laughs> so how's your uh, uh, bulbo? Well, I mean, um. It's okay, I guess. Um, uh, I haven't heard from him in a little bit, um, but it's all right. It's okay. It's okay. Just ask Naya. He'll give you good advice about it, I'm sure. That's now, a good idea. Where the hell is Kirill? I know he takes time to do his hair, but this uh, crepe is going to like curl if he doesn't get here soon. <laughs> it does look delicious. <laughs> Um, I pulled the plate. <laughs> did you message them or did you? Oh, I was trying to. It, I don't have message, so I was gonna see if like if anybody passed, I was gonna try and send them to get to like the to the hearth to get whoever. Uh, is I mean, Caitlin might be able to get me because as a level nine life cleric, I might be one of like the better healers at Candle Keep. Basic level. Which <laughs> <laughs> at least close but... by. Proximity bias, maybe? I don't know. I got a plus eight to medicine. Trying to think. So we're in so the court. I'm yard? basically a medical doctor. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or at least we play one on TV. I was going to say I'm probably like exercising or something outside. So, okay. I don't know if I would have seen or like see something going on. Yeah, it's probably, I mean, the day is just starting, so it's pretty empty. So you might have probably seen him collapse and, and maybe Caitlin running, rushing away. And I'm in like, bright blue silk robe with like gold brocade again because it has to match the, the sheets so yeah uh Kiro, what's 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 wrong what's his name? i don't know Kaylin said it but he was moving very fast and a lot was happening at once and i don't i didn't retain it hmm. but he's on the janitorial staff and i know <laughs> i've seen him but i don't think we've spoken before and he was dragging that, and I pointed the book, and then, huh. Uh... I tried to heal him, and unresponsive, and Kaylin said he's dead, and it's just, it's a lot going on at once. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go get Benlin. I'm gonna go back to pacing. <laughs> I'm supposed to stay, I'm supposed to stay with the... <laughs> <laughs> I'll come back, I promise. Margaret, and then and Cindy. Half a crepe is in my mouth. <laughs> Cindy, that is for Kira. Oh, we don't want it. <laughs> if you want a crepe, you just ask for one. I can make you a crepe. Well, he can ask for one, but he can <laughs> <see it. laughs> Is Paige still passed out? Uh, I don't know where Paige is, and that's never a good sign, but... <laughs> uh, someone, someone, uh, someone? Someone's dead. Um, one of the, 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 the janitors. Well, I'm sure there'll be a funeral, though. There's no need to panic. He, Kirill's with him. Wait, Kirill, Kirill kills, kills someone? The janitor? <laughs> <laughs> and, like, he takes off his apron. I don't know. Like, well, let's go take care of it before Caitlin finds out. <laughs> I already, 
Oh, Halen saw no. him kill the janitor. Oh my gosh. Is there obvious evidence that we saw him like <laughs> wiping my hands? <laughs> Gathering my stuff, chugging my coffee. It's too hot. <laughs> Bo grabs the crate that's left on the counter. And <laughs> just turn him off. Well, he, <laughs> he rips in half and he eats half, and then he's going to take the other half. <laughs> so as I walk up, and like, I'm like, what did you do? Thank <laughs> <laughs> you. Don't. It's a quarter of a crate. <laughs> Make sure you need some science. I didn't do anything. I was walking. Oh, whatever you do, you can't be seen like this. Go, go get changed. Go eat your crate. I'm supposed to stay with the body. Caitlin said to stay with the body. We'll hide it. It's not a big deal. No, it's not. Kate. I'm already, I'm already like molding her. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. <laughs> Gesturing with the crate in hand. <laughs> don't touch anything. We're not gonna hide a body. I'm gonna crouch down. I didn't kill him. Bjorn. Why did you kill Bjorn? I didn't kill him. I, I mean, was, he was a little grumpy at times. I was walking back to my room. He was dragging that. Oh. And we were about to pass each other. I was going to say good morning, and he collapsed. Wait, do we know Bjorn? Yeah, he's the one who cleans out. No, I don't know. I just assume he cleans things. It's custard. Don't just do anything. I mean, it could also be doing repairs. Perhaps. Do I recognize the book at all? Does it look familiar? It does not look familiar, but okay. I'll show you what it looks like. I tried to heal him when he dropped. Candle Keep Deconstruction. Ooh. Um, I, I saw the description, which I have not brought up myself. Question, can I make a medicine check to see how he died? Yeah. Um, I just a description about this, but I feel like I don't know where it is now. <laughs> Sorry. Um, why am I being such a dork? Is that a J or an A? Oh, here we go. Okay. Canopy Deconstruction is bound in sturdy black leather with the title and Isajar's name neatly engraved on the front cover and spine. Images of a smiling dwarf and a builder's hammer are stamped into the front cover. Its crisp white pages, which measure 15 inches square, are marred by an occasional smudge or tear from a reader's thumb. A quick flip through the book reveals diagrams and descriptions of, a, of almost every location in Candlekeep. Mm. Well, don't get prints on it. I don't think we we're supposed to touch the book either. I summon a uh, small squirrel to open the pages for Zindi. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. With crap. Um, no, no, it's a crab. A crab. <laughs> 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 I'm trying out sea creatures. It's new. <laughs> oh god. At least they're not as large as the ones that never mind. <laughs> and I also refill in my mold earth. Uh I did get a 23 out medicine though. Okay. It appears that he may have died from natural causes. Like it doesn't look like it was a magical thing or there's no blunt fresh trauma or wounds. Um, perhaps some sort of heart attack, stroke kind of thing. Something quick. It seems to be natural causes. Did you want to? Did you detect magic on him yet? No. And then I'll touch my face and detect magic just in case. No, 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 no magic going on. Are you? You're looking through the book a little bit more. I'm. Yeah, I'm trying not to touch it. Although, like, having to stop myself from. Okay. You notice there is a bookmark inside of it. Cindy, mm -hmm. just mage hand the pages. Oh yes, yes. Okay. Don't okay. worry. Sebastian will help. Oh. I just gotta put both claws and turn to the bookmark page. <laughs> um, this page is an unusual set of renderings. It's for a tower in Candlekeep called the Barn Door. Doesn't really explain why it's called that, other than it just looks like a, a regular tower that's painted red. Um, the facing page, there's a floor plan detailing the tower's lowest level, which looks like a small dungeon. And there's a, an array of odd mechanical devices. Hey, could you move us over to like the main section there just to see if there's, if it, I don't know if it's labeled or if, like maybe they might be see if it's the tower. Oh. Might not be. Oh, no, I, I don't know. It doesn't say anything about that in this, in the ventures. So. There's several red topped towers. Yeah, right. so it could be any of those. Okay. Uh, I will turn to Kirill. I have good news, Kirill. He died of natural causes, and there seems to be no magical shenanigans. I know! Well, no, I'm just saying, like, you can't be blamed for this. I don't think I was going to be. Well, no, I'm just saying, like, 
in the future, like like now that it's cleared up that you didn't do anything to him, I can confirm that you won't be liable. That you didn't do anything to him. Close the book. It's going to sound odd, but what does the bookmark look like? Because I, Cindy will like bookmarks. And like, does it have a little tassel on it? Is it just a ribbon? No, it's probably just like a ribbon. That's a, the, the one that maybe is attached, attached to the book. book. Attached to the book. this place. Mm-hmm. Um, are you going to close it or would you like to try and interpret the um, weird devices? I, I at least... Oh, devices inside the tower. Mm-hmm. In the in the rendering, it's yeah. a floor plan. Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't. Think I don't you'll know. Be able to stop yourself? Probably it's not. Intriguing. No, I'm ready. I'm like, well, if anything, if Sebastian starts trying to close the book, I'm going to bat him out of the way. <laughs> oh, crap! <it. laughs> you cracked his leg. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm intelligence. <laughs> Let me find a good I just cover him so I don't know where his friend's ears are. <laughs> just straight intelligence. Arcana. Oh, Arcana. You can use Arcana. Uh, 21. Okay. You know these mechanical devices um, do something. Perhaps disengage the tower from its foundation. Um, but you're not sure why or what would happen if you did that. This is odd. You know, I don't what? mean to be that guy, but shouldn't the guard be here for now? <laughs> yeah, I, can I pull history just to see if I know anything about the barn door? <laughs> Which one of you will be nice to me this evening? Hey, Bo, do you want to try to right. find Naya? Yeah, where is she? I don't know where she is. Uh, She's probably at the bathhouse. Ooh, 23. Okay, you, sorry, you're doing history about the barn door. Okay, yes, yes. you actually, you do recall hearing something about it being condemned a while back, um, but recently people were saying they were maybe hearing weird noises inside. Weird noises, strange mechanism, bookmark. All right. Kaylin does come Can up. Can we close the book, my lord, Kaylin? <laughs> you see Kaylin approaching with two other people. They're holding, they're carrying like some sort of stretcher thing. I'll, I'll immediately close the book and like try and I will shuffle assist away from it. them in putting uh, the body on the stretcher. Okay. Um, Kaylin talks to you a little bit. Did you try to revive him? What, what did he you was, determine? Um, he's definitely dead and it seems to be of natural causes. Old age, heart attack, just his body gave out. He was a very old dwarf. Yes, I can't believe he was working this hard. I, I haven't talked to him in some time. I checked for magical shenanigans and I didn't find any. So if they are there, they are very well hidden. Watching him, it seemed like just the sheer weight of the book is what finally did him in. Book? He was doing with a book? I'll give me that. He oh. takes the book. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no, no, no. You guys should not be looking at this. He should not have had this. Okay, thank you for bringing this to my attention. He kind of texts it away. Um... There's books we're not allowed to look at? Well, this is very detailed information about candlekeep. It needs to be kept under wraps. Several books we're not allowed to look at. <laughs> saying we're, we've been on several life-threatening missions for candlekeep, and we are not privy to this information? No one is privy to all the information in this place. A man is dead, Ben Lynch. <laughs> <laughs> we have areas that that we need to know about and areas that are not our concern and it sounds like this is one that is not do i know what race is kaylin oh. I, <laughs> I mean like do i know if he knows sylvan or not <laughs> i mean he can he's very intelligent so well no i'm hoping he doesn't I'm trying oh, to find one that i, I share he, with Cindy that he can do well, at the same time maybe <laughs> I'm not, it's not my head then. so i'm just gonna kind of like you have primordial remember he probably oh, yeah. doesn't know that one. <laughs> so I'm just kind of like like low in primordials. Like remember everything you read. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your help, Kirill, in, in securing the area. We will take him away, and he will be buried appropriately. He was a good custodian here. Um, of course, I, I think I should go make myself presentable. It's been a very strange morning. Yeah. Why mm-hmm. were Why are you in your pajamas? Why are you in your pajamas? I... They're very pretty, by the way. Thank you. Um, and I just kind of like haphazardly like fix some of your hands <laughs> while I'm talking. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, I'm happy to talk about it over. Are they still near us? Or are they gone? Now? They're fussing with the body. They're moving away. So. Are you still laughing? It's great for <laughs> Yeah, I haven't taken a bite or anything. <laughs> uh, I, I'm happy to talk about it more over, um, and I'll say in primordial research. <laughs> um, uh, Kaylin, I will write up a report on my findings of the initial investigation of the body and send them to you. Thank you. That would be helpful. So they kind of move away. I'll go get changed. You'll get changed. Oh, I think we're going to be meeting back at the heart. You want to see if you can't go find Naya? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and where Paige, is Paige? Yeah. Yeah. Paige still passed out. But I'll go look for her. Okay. You don't need to go uh, look for Naya. I'll explain at breakfast. Oh, do you want another uh, walkabout? Uh, of a sort, yes. Seemed about time. Ooh. The urge to insight that is so strong. <laughs> I mean, that of a sword is not a lie. <laughs> no, no, I'm not saying that you're right, but like, like the, the way verbiage. you said it, like Benlin would be like immediately suspicious. But give him the benefit of the doubt. He just saw a dead man. Yeah. <laughs> I'm very, very shaken. Usually, you're so shaken. <laughs> Um, well, I better get one of my backup cooks out of bed because it looks like we're not going to be doing a normal day. <laughs> this has been eaten by two. I don't want this. This has been eaten by multiple people. Bo I am you. so I, this, sorry. This, 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 that looks this. just real. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Have a fresh one ready when you're presentable. Here. Thank you. <laughs> okay, you guys return to. <laughs> I might suggest the green brocade today. It really brings out your eyes. I think I've had enough brocade between the sheath and the robe. I can't. But thank you. That's a lovely call. Had enough brocade. I couldn't think of another pattern. All right. So you guys kind of return to what you were doing before. Um, Carol, you go get dressed and you um, kind of meet up with everyone else. Paige uh, is maybe feeling sick. I don't know. He's not. Not, uh, he's feeling sick and, and we're gonna leave him in bed. I'll have everybody meet in the extra dimensional garden because there's like, because it's breakfast rush and we'll have privacy there. Mm, beautiful gardens. While we are waiting for anybody to assemble, Cindy is going to try and recreate what she saw in her journal as best she can on I the have bookmark page. Okay. So, I'm really sorry so... about your leg. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, would that just be another intelligence check to recreate what you, or perception? Memory is usually intelligence, yes. Okay, go okay. for an intelligence check with help. So that's with advantage? Yeah. Um, I mean... Oops. Oops. I also cast Guidance, did I say that? <laughs> of course, I heard it. <laughs> I'm just very distraught. I have okay. guidance also from my room. Can we okay. get? No, I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> Can you um, stop guidance? Seeing Kirill disheveled game brand new bar against Parade. Yeah. <laughs> Thirteen total. Okay, you get the basic shape of the dungeon. Um, but the mechanical devices are, are wrong. I mean, you don't know that, but you've drawn them okay. very badly. <laughs> you still remember their function. They, yeah, so I'll write down any notes that I remember and trying to draw the specific images as best I can, which are inaccurate. <laughs> that looks great. Thank you. I mean, I tried I tried to remember it, but I don't know. Why would somebody want to move a whole tower? I mean, like... Move a whole tower? Is yeah, it what that's no, for? It, it seemed to be, at least when I was reading. I mean, I'll just... I'll, I'll wait till everybody gets here. I don't want to repeat myself. You know, to be honest with you, this generation and the steam technology, like, what just happened to good, traditional, magical, you know, like... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I will all come in at that point, I suppose. Did you wear the green brocade? <laughs> <laughs> I wore green, but I'm feeling a little scarred for brocade right now. Oh, are you back playing as well? I mean, yeah, because if Paige was feeling sick, I would have come back. All right, so you guys are kind of musing about the drawings that you've put together. Um, an earthquake causes all the candle keep to shudder. And then it stops as quickly as it began. Even in the extra dimensional garden, 
even in the extra dimensional garden. <laughs> show the fence. Hmm? What's that? I curl into my show. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, it's scary. Can I make an insight check to make a real deal of logic? Uh, okay. About the earthquake? You want to just like a nature yeah. check about the earthquake? Or? Well, I want an insight. So basically, I want to roll to see if Ben would be like, these cannot be coincidences. Yeah, I mean, it's, <laughs> yeah, I think that's fair to say. <laughs> I was just about to say, well, that was convenient timing. That's 24. And I, it's a tw- yeah okay so you you could you feel like the earthquake was not magically created but by what Zindi has said about the devices mechanical devices you would make a leap of logic like uh, I mean those devices could potentially make an earthquake a tower separating from the ground would definitely shake the ground I was just trying to think when's the last time there was an earthquake at your time, your countdown has started. <laughs> okay, so we live on a small archipelago in the middle of the ocean. We there shouldn't be any earthquakes going on. I mean, it depends on where the fault lines are. It's incredibly, it's entirely possible that where the land the meets the sea, but we need are to you go. Human explaining to an earth genasi? I, <laughs> I am a half elf that has read many more books. Than that. <laughs> Can I do a nature check to see when the last time there might have been an earthquake in Candlekeep? Sure. Or, or would that be history? If I'm, I would do a history check history. to see if there was anything recorded. You should get him okay. to help you. I'm um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. As I'm going into tectonic functions. Well, I mean, <laughs> when was the last time that there was? I'm sorry, but your intelligence is an eight. And you're explaining <laughs> fault lines. Thirty twenty. Excuse me. I am an earth genasi. <laughs> <laughs> There, you've never really read any rec- record of an earthquake occurring as county. That's, we've, we've never had, at least not in the books that I've read, any kind of history of earthquakes. Why are we having an earthquake? None of the maps do show a fault line in this area. <gasps> My books? Well, um, I don't think it was bad enough that your books would be damaged. Just a, a thought. Uh, while the garden is lovely, and while we still do need to discuss Naya's exit, um, we, I think, should go to that place. The are barn door tower. Are we okay. allowed into the barn door tower? Well, I mean, it's, it looked like it was... Um, We're allowed into the library itself. We that's, just walk yeah. up to a condemned building, I assume. It's condemned. Um, your patrons might be scared. They might leave. The hearth. Oh, that's oh, perfectly no. fine. Uh, okay. we're, we're basically a glorified cat. Let's go now. <laughs> okay. Okay. Do I do we ever know where it is? I mean, there, I don't know. It just had a floor plan. I don't know if there was a map. Ma- I did. Yeah, yeah, it was successful. So I do know okay. where it is in okay. Candlekeep. Okay. All right. Yeah, you guys make your way in. I think we, the UIs, are trusted enough to go through the Emerald Door into the actual tower. So you make your way there. It takes about five minutes to walk there. Um, and so the barn door is a three-story stone tower topped with a roof of metal shingles painted red. The only entrance appears to be a ground level iron door with a wooden sign bolted to it that reads in common, danger, no trespassing. Is anybody around? Uh, I would like to pull that sign down as you're like, oh, I forgot common. What does it say again? Oh, it's it's behind it's me. In- <laughs> so nobody's following. <laughs> Re- fix it. But it says, it says danger. Uh, I'm gonna, I'll check the door to see if it's open. It's locked. All right. Freaking page still recovering. Um, uh, uh, anybody? Uh, I'm gonna um, hit it with a hammer. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm not great. Wait, what are you pulling? Eight strength. What are you trying to do? Open the door with a hammer. Um, Okay. How's an 18 sound? It does not open. Is there any other entrances or windows or anything that I see? What is the tower made out of again? It's a stone tower, top of the roof of metal shingles. Mold earth the frame away from the door. That does not work. (laughs) Okay. Knock on the door. Let me, can, can I please come in? I will. You don't have knock, right? I will meld with stone and then come out the other end. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then unlock the door from the inside. Ooh. 
Okay, let me get the map up here. <laughs> Do, 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 do. I don't know, maybe oh, it could have... if, it, if it lifted up, maybe it just, we could ask. I don't, please. I think there might be a way in. Yeah. That's like the door opens. Um. Okay, so I've changed that. So I'll go ahead and reveal the whole room. Okay. Oh no. Let me go ahead and say you <laughs> hold on, let me get to it. Um the tower's ground floor smells of old books and has walls lined with floor to ceiling bookcases. Wood frame doors set with small diamond shaped panes of glass keep the books secure on the shelves, each section of which has a rolling ladder anchored to a ceiling rail. Three custodians are working here. A human, a gnome, and a half elf. The human and the half elf were standing right next to the door because they heard you guys banging around out there but they are startled to see that you are now inside huh? what who are you Hello. you're supposed to be here uh, yes there's uh i this... think it's just me yeah oh sorry I mean, if you open the door but it's... you're supposed to be here they start trying to open the door so the kids are not gonna yeah i'm ben Drabardi. i'm here to this is dangerous. This is dangerous. We're 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 here to clean. We're here. Yeah, to clean. we should you all get out of here immediately. Come on. Yes. Yes. Goodbye. 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 So he tries to like push you out. They all kind of gather together. As soon as the door opens. <laughs> uh, hello. Oh, good. Hi. Hi. What? There's just a lot of people here right now. This is not the time for this. Uh, it is indeed the time for this. I'm gonna lean over to Bo and for what? Primordia and be like, "Weapons ready, Bo." <laughs> uh, we have been tasked to. Assess the mechanism. Uh, no, I, what, what, he knows about the mechanism? What, what do you mean? I, no, we don't, you're not a part of our group. No, you don't know about the mechanism. This comes straight from Kalen? Kalen. Kalen. Oh, I, de they attack. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah. should have mentioned the book. I know. Or <laughs> Huron? I don't know. Oh, yeah, you should have mentioned I should have Huron. said Huron. Yeah. <laughs> Oh no. This one was nice to me once and now it's not gonna be nice to me again. My laptop cannot handle the beyond. Okay, let me just bring up their character sheets so that I know what they can do. That's not what I want. Are we pausing the timer while we're out of control? Oh yeah, let's go ahead and do that. <laughs> I'm like so nervous that there's actually I was like, a timer like, on the this one. I was like, oh man, the description is taking up seconds. <laughs> I started immediately thinking like a speed runner. Well, but you, I didn't. You didn't lose five minutes for the walkover. True. So that's fair. True. I just got to do. I got to do about like that. Okay. No, no, you're fine. You're fine. I'm just saying like while we're doing tech mm -hmm. stuff, like if we could pause the clock, that's all I ask. <laughs> wow, they got a four. You think they would be higher up? Because they. <laughs> um. Okay. So let me put that's some in there. Secrets. Okay, girl. Eight. Also eight, but you can go first, buddy. Okay. Oh. Seven. Seven. I rolled an eight. Yes. Yeah, Hi, AC Club. Nineteen. <laughs> nice. Mm. Yeah, I probably should buy some better armor because I'm not. Okay, nice. so I'm gonna go ahead and say that <laughs> the one that was immediately suspicious of you guys, he goes ahead and, and just tries to hit Carol. Or sorry, uh, Ben Lynn for being in there. So let me roll that. That's six. Can, can he just like actually hit me, but just like like bomb? I mean, he's using a broom, so he's like, you get out! and oh, and it bounces off my magical the, blade armor. <laughs> the broom breaks a little bit. Um, one under the map. Oh, what the fuck? Okay. Or or the I have the um the banner on the map. It just looks you gotta like move our token. no our token. Oh, you your tokens. My bad. Sorry. I'm assuming that this Cindy, is your the... first. Yeah, I'll put you word. out there first. That's the entrance. So you're probably just yeah. a little bit outside, maybe. Yeah, probably. That makes so sense. Carol wasn't talking to him. I'll so. Put you like here. Then we had Benlin inside. Being attacked and by one of them, so she be within five feet of one show. Carol just outside, Bo just outside. Let me reveal you a little bit more. There we go. And then 
the guys, I'm going to move them a little bit. And that's on the GM layer? Why do I have to be on the GM layer? No, you should be on the objects and token layer. Oh, it's because I would just... I all figured out. <laughs> okay, so these two are close to you. And this guy will hang out in the back there. Okay. Okay, Zindi, madame. Okay. Um, if I see them... I'm technically a large creature, aren't I? No. So I'm just okay. No, you're medium. Medium. Okay. I just want to make sure that we can, but we can all fit through the doorway right mm -hmm. now. Um, if I see somebody going after, can I? I want to try and use mage hand to take away the broom. Okay. Let's see. So that's like their strength check versus I don't know some sort of magic roll. So it's the hand strength, which is five. So oh. it would be at a negative. Three, four. Okay, so you roll. So I would just, three. I would just roll the strength Contested, versus yeah. that that three or whatever. It and was. then you would yeah, roll sure. so athletics. I mean, if Helena wants, you could replace athletics with Arcana because it's a magical hand. But you would be at a minus four because it has a very low strength score. Minus three. Well, actually, you only got five. Okay. <laughs> uh, minus three yeah. is seven with my well, Arcana. Yeah. Yeah, you get the broom away from me. <laughs> Which one did you do that to? Whoever was uh, the broom. I want the broom. Okay, so maybe next, the one that's right next to Benlin. Yes. So if you've uh, got the broom, I'm like, that is not very nice. You you get, you have the broom now. Yes, so and now you? I, okay. I have the main hand. Give it to me. What? Yeah, you jerk. <laughs> you are all imbeciles. Why are you here? Because bring on is dead. Good. The traitor. Oh. I didn't help. <laughs> All right, is that your turn? Um, I will. Oh, I don't want to push through them. I think I will though. But that's I can't get through them though, right? Because they're blocking the way. I can't move into the room. No, uh, not can't without move through them. I that's would say if you try to move through them, they're going to attack you. Okay, we'll get that. Then I'll stay where I am. Then I'll just like hold the broom away, like I'm guarding it now. This is that housekeeping thing. Everyone who had crates this morning has four temporary HP. Oh. Um, <laughs> Why didn't I have the damn crates? No, I mean, oh, yeah, I did afterwards, yeah. Carol. Okay. Um, so once he said that, it's like, I was going to withhold deadly force, but apparently this is not that kind of situation. Oh. And I will Eldritch Blast um, the two in front of me. Eldritch Blast. And Benlin watches that go and goes, oh, so we're killing them. <laughs> rolling, rolling, rolling. It's a 16 to hit. Yep, I'll do it. Okay, so that is, uh, yeah. So it's one for each of them. So The closer ones? Yeah. So a four and an eight. So four for the one in front of Benlin, eight for the one diagonal to Benlin. Just a rules clarification. You would have to make two different assignments. Oh, shoot. Let me... I did. I knew that. Too, yeah, they both did. Say, Wait, mm -hmm. that didn't do that. I'm sorry. It was it, eight. Was the second one? Mm -hmm. Yes. And four was the first. Four one. was the first one. Yeah. Okay. So minus eight. Enter. Okay, that worked that time. I was like, why didn't that work? Why ain't no worky? Can't do any of these. Okay. Cool. 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 That's it for me. Okay, and then that was. Okay, and so that is the end of your turn. That is going to be Benlin's next. Um, the one diagonal to you looks fucked up from that Eldritch Blast. I'm going to hit him with my hammer. You, you never get our secrets. You're not worthy. But I'm just trying to knock him out, so non-lethal damage. Okie doke. 26. The one diagonal to you or the one in front? The one you said didn't look good. Looked real fucked up. Okay, yeah, that definitely hits. That'll be 10 damage. Okay, he's down. Okay. So I knock him unconscious, not dead. Okay. Alrighty, that's it. Uh, Are you? Um, is anyone on our side damaged? No? I guess that's it then, yeah. Bo, you're up. The way we're down? The one diagonal to you. Okay. He said secrets! And, like, he's unconscious, right? Mm-hmm. Um, lethal. All right. Um, uh, 
if that's true, then I'm gonna move. Can we move through him now? Because he's like prone on the ground. Sure. Feel bad because Rockman was in chat and I missed him. Follow me. Um, so I'm gonna cool. go there. And then I'm gonna in. take this one. Swat. Yep. Just remember, Divine Smite can't be like. <laughs> but if you quit. <laughs> you quit. Um, that's a. I am. 22. Uh, that'll do it. Okay. Um, I am going to pause the timer during combat and maybe figure it out after. Okay. <laughs> Just so you know, it's paused right now. Because technically every round is six, six seconds. seconds. So I'm like, I won't. Uh, that's five damage. He is also down. Okay. Then I'm going to move. Is he so dead? 30 feet. Yeah. Um, they can be dead or they can be passed out, depending on what you guys want to have done. So for Ben Lin's one, he's passed out. But did you want to kill this one, Bo? Um. Or would you say, were you doing lethal damage? I'm trying to figure out how far I moved. That was there. If I... That was 30 feet. Um, or no, I went 25 if I moved that way. Um, can I move here? Or is that like a, is that a table or something? That is a table, yeah. But you can stand beside it, I suppose. Or even just kind of bump it out of the way. Okay, now I'm going to attack this dude. Try to knock him out. Just got to let it. <laughs> did you kill the first one that you attacked? No, I did not. You didn't? Oh, okay. Another 22. Yeah, yep, that it does. Nice. And that's seven damage. All right. They said secret, so maybe we can talk. Oh. Can we even read, sort of? Crap. My <laughs> weapon does poison damage, too. So he's poisoned? <laughs> or do I get a save for that? Um, I don't remember. Hold on. I think the more the concern is, there's no way to non-lethally yeah. poison someone. So the other one took poison, extra poison damage. Oh, okay. So he, he did. Uh, take, taking two poison damage. He's dead. And then this one would take eight poison damage. The first one, while well, he was already down. The second one, the sorry. Oh yeah, so the second one, the one behind the table. Yeah. Poison damage. He's dead. He's dead too. He's real dead. Oh, wait, so you hit the sorry. first one, you put him down, he's right, but unconscious. He was poison damage too. He was also poisoned too. Well, he's, I mean, he was down from your strike. Okay. So. He's also poisoned. We'll okay. say he's dead too. So actually you just got one that's, un that's not dead. Okay. <laughs> but he's unconscious. I will immediately begin tying that one up. Okay. You can do that. I don't think I need you to make a check to tie him up. Probably fairly simple. I think we should keep moving. How dare he imply that you can't breed? <laughs> Unless you think I should. Is that an in. insult? I can take care of that. Why, yeah. why don't Kirill and Zindi start? looking around there's got to be something more to this room they're guarding this tower okay, the stairs again. i'm holding the broom okay. very territorially just to give you the description of the room again this is a ground floor the tower's ground floor smells of old books has walls lined with floor-to-ceiling bookcases wood frame doors set with small diamond-shaped panes of glass keep the books secure on the shelves each section of which has a rolling ladder anchored to the ceiling rail and here's some additional information I didn't read. Against the far wall, a wooden staircase covered with green carpeting leads up. In front of the staircase rests a golden credenza with images of farm animals carved into it. A high back chair with burgundy cushions sits behind the credenza. So the credenza is what you probably bumped into. Okay. So, question. Didn't you say there was something below? Well, the... The mechanisms are meant to, or it looked like they are meant to lift the tower off the foundation to move, to bring it up. I don't, it was, it's very strange. And I'll. Well, why don't you and Carol see if you can find anything in this room and I'll wake up this asshat and I will. <laughs> 
healing word him. <laughs> I'll take this wall. I'll take this one. Okay. All right, so you guys go ahead and both give me investigation checks. And when you do that, um, Alpaca Macadamia wakes up. <laughs> All right, do I know this person? Is it the gnome that happened? Maybe in the... passing. Um, let me see which one it is. Alpaca is it? Macadamia nuts is the human. Um, okay, so he, you may have seen him in passing. I mean, all of these guys look vaguely familiar, but they are custodians, so it depends on how much you actually pay attention to custodians, I guess. I mean, I clean my own space, so. So maybe you never see them again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> ugh, ugh, we haven't died? Where? What's happening? <laughs> well, what, what? <laughs> I have chosen not to kill you in a hopes that you will explain to me what's going on. I don't have to explain anything to you. Well, I think you should be more concerned about explaining it to my large turtle friend who was insulted. I will explain things to Stonky. Stonky for you. And he tries to, I don't know, hit himself. Like he's trying to kill himself. <laughs> I just, <laughs> I just kind of like cook them off their hands. <laughs> uh, pausing for pulling books back. Stonky? <laughs> He's smarter than any of you combined. Times two. Can I roll a history on the name Stonky? <laughs> Can I assist? So I'm intrigued by this. I'm like, do I know this name? Oh, and you guys did your investigations too. Yeah. So. I do, but is it worth it? Um. So okay. So 22 for the investigation, 21 for the history on Stonky. <laughs> Okay, and what was your did you seven? So okay, all right. So um, Stonky, you recognize he's kind of the head of the custodial team. He's a rock gnome that you can recall, and he seems he's you've always really heard nobody wants to ever really deal with him. Um, and then investigation wise, let me get to that part just to make sure here. The head of custodial? Are the janitors staging a coup? I mean, I guess a non centralized governmental library? <laughs> I, <laughs> he's in charge of an entire department, so I assumed he was intelligent. I didn't, I didn't, nobody was in, in this one otherwise. is desperately trying to kill himself by flailing about. Yes, idiots. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, and then you, looking through the books, you see um, a lot of, you know, generic tomes that some of them even kind of feel like are a little bit, like, meandering and unclear. Um, you do see Shemshine's Bedtime Rhyme as well. You steer clear of that one. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. <laughs> and then as you're looking closer, you see a gap on a shelf where Candlekeep Deconstruction probably was. Um, and then looking further, you notice that one of the bookshelves is, it, it could probably swing forward. Pull that bookshelf. Before you find secret passage built into the <laughs> character. <laughs> There's a secret door behind it. It is, um, it's a narrow sta staircase, uh, leading down. And there's a small wooden pedal, uh, like into the into the wall. It looks like that would be how you would close the bookshelf if you're inside. What were we saying about things being below the tower? The the machines, the mechanisms, are below. Oh, oh, that looks below. Uh, I turn to the the hostage and be like, "So we go down and break up your little machines. How mad will that make you? You'll never be able to figure it out." <laughs> Walk him against the wall. <laughs> Is this treason? Do we kill him? Like, <laughs> Maybe he's, I don't know. for Kaylin to question. Um, I am going to do detect magic and see if there's anything magical affecting. Make sure you spell this. Well, I guess we don't know there's a type. Are you D E T E C? Sorry, D E T E K T. Magic? I'm not detecting. <laughs> I'll just okay. detect magic. As everybody's kind of running downstairs, I'm like, I, I will assume there. It looks like we don't. Ha I don't have time to do it ritually, so I will just cast detect magic. 
Okay. There's nothing out of ordinary in this room that sets that off. Okay. Should we try interrogating him more? I think we should go downstairs personally. Maybe later. We know where the mechanisms are. I know what they look like, and I'll show them. My question is, is if the mechanism is to detach the tower, where is the tower going to... Is she going to fall over? Or why? And if that's the case, shouldn't we make sure there's no one else up before we go down? Uh, there's probably I'm, I'm, there's probably less real estate up than down. All right, so you are at your decision. We going down, we going up. Can I just take a quick look upstairs and just see if I see anything interesting up the staircase, anything well, that piques my interest? Why don't me and Carol just look through the secret door and you guys go up to the second floor so we're all still within verbal range and then whoever finds something interesting calls down. Hmm. Okay, so sure. Okay. Which one of you is going first? Me. You're, you're going first. So as you kind of take a few steps down, um your the the hallway or the, the stairway is enclosed for a little bit, but you can see that the it's hard to explain. Like you're walking down the stairs and then like the ceiling. Yeah. You can see like the, basement stairs. Yeah. Yeah. So um so you can see a like a faint glow um coming from down there. Rockleman just asks if he can spend his inspiration points to speed the clock up. Oh, no. No. <laughs> oh thank you. Thank you for the D4. Uh, okay, so you you can see, and you, as you take a few steps down, it's actively getting warmer, and you can see kind of a faint glow, and maybe you can hear like a little bit, um, maybe kind of metal moving against each other. Uh, you... As you look up the stairs, let me just remind myself what's up there. <laughs> you, as you start to move up the stairs, you can hear people conversing. You can hear conversation. Um, you hear the name Stonky thrown around. Uh, so, yeah. Would you guys like to fully go into the levels that you're um, going into? I will stop and I will cast a message. To Benlin, and um, there's there's people up here talking about Stonky. Should we go join them? That we know the machinery is here and it's operating. I will reply to the message. There's machinery down here and it is functional. So if we can get more information, we'll come join you. Be careful. Okay, they're gonna come join us. I think they're coming up. But the machine is working downstairs. So isn't that important? I don't know. Maybe I think I think Benlin was saying we want more information about what's going on. So maybe we listen. I, I'll try and actively listen to the conversation and see if anything important or yeah, pique my no, interest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's no perception. Okay. Not you. You did me dirty last time. Let's try you. Thirteen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you hear Stonky, and you don't really hear too much, but you do hear someone go, when's it going to happen? I think, I think something's supposed to happen. Have we rejoined them by now? I'm sorry, you guys are going up to me. Yeah. Right? Oh, okay. Yeah, you can, you can rejoin them. Something's supposed to happen. They're waiting for something to happen. Okay, so that confirms it. So if they're up here waiting for something to happen, then whatever's going to happen is going to happen up here. Right? Or whatever those things are doing, like de removing the tower is what they're waiting for. Sure, but like, wouldn't if they're up here, then that means that I think we should just break the equipment. How many? That didn't look like it was possible. We didn't see it close enough. How many more towers do you think in Candlekeep can move? I think we have the time to have no, that no, level but... of existential crisis. <laughs> <laughs> Deconstructing candle keep. If deconstructing, take it apart. Taking apart the tower, taking apart candle keep. If we can remove a tower from candle keep, what happens? I don't know. I don't know what good that would do anything. I mean, well, I mean does, just... it, does it negate any magical spell? Oh, Is it I going to. So. If they're going to wait for something to happen soon, do we just go in and wipe the floor? 
and look for controls, or is it all downstairs? Um, I'm just saying, from like a purely logical standpoint, if they're up here, wouldn't they be the ones controlling it up here? Don't know. They just said they don't know when it's going to happen, so they don't have control over anything. What? <laughs> from looking at the tower outside, is it possible to gauge how many floors it would go up? It appeared to be three. Okay. Um. You say we clear the tower and then we can still go down and destroy the machine. Okay, well, then can, I, pass. can I try something? Sure. And I'm going to disguise self as one of the Alpaca. three. I'll look at like alpaca. Cool. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. disguise self. All right, you're moving into that room then? Yes. And then as you go, I'm going to wild shape into a mouse so that I'm with her. But like hiding myself in your robes. Okay. You just cast it? Can you just cast it? I have too many other things. <laughs> so sorry. It's going around, man. It's uh, the allergies in the wind right now. Mm -hmm. Wind is. Oh. <laughs> sorry. Nope, you're good. So you're. <laughs> I think so. Here. Is that right? Um, so... <laughs> yeah, that's the stairway that's going into that room. Okay, because then the other one would go up to the floor, <laughs> assuming. I'm just going to put you there. Yep. And remember, you are messy. Okay, let me get to this place. <laughs> the sense of salted meat. Well, let me pause this really quick. I'm so sorry. It's because I, now I'm really anxious about it. No, nope, <laughs> it's okay. Here, I'll read it. Just give it to me. <laughs> let me see the book. Yeah. <laughs> it's fun. I <laughs> watch try her hand at Dan. I was just telling Helena, I'm like, oh my gosh, all the little different moving parts would make me so nervous. Um, I'd be excited for it. Okay. The scents of salted meat and dried fruit fill this area. Bookcases built into the stone walls and fronted by wood and glass doors. Oh, did I? No. Um, are stuffed full of rations. Huge windows seal off a pair of alcoves. <laughs> set into the tower walls and an inward curving wall between the staircases has an iron door at the center. The ceiling is braced by four wooden pillars between which are set four pairs of stocky wooden chairs facing inward. Each chair is bolted to the floor and fitted with two lengths of rope. Four of the chairs have people in custodial uniforms tied to them. Two half orcs, a half elf, and a dwarf. They see you. What are you doing? You need to get ready. Tie yourself up. In just a moment. Um, we heard about Buron. Oh, the traitor? Yeah. yeah. Good riddance to that loser. And I have Yeah, yeah. For Stonky! For Stonky! <laughs> um it it appears that he um may have gone to Kaylin and told him our plans. Oh, wuss. What a loser. He's unworthy. Ooh. Sure. Yeah, because we only have what? How long now? Yeah, we were just talking that. We don't know. Stonky's still looking downstairs for his ring. Right. Well, we I was going to try and clean up and find the ring. He asked me to look for it. Have you seen it? Do you remember what it looks like? I don't remember. Well, he doesn't really let any of us get close to it, but I mean, it looks like a ring. Great. Yeah, you can look in here. We looked in here earlier. He was looking in here earlier, too. He sent you back here? I'm going to go ahead and say you. It's a deception. He would, he would, I don't know. How deceptive can I be? Can I use a help action to bolster her spirit, her liar spirit, with my mousy one? No. <laughs> I do a little mousy dance in her cleavage. <laughs> That'd be like disadvantage. <laughs> 
Okay, I am doing. No, what did you get? Insight, which is what a wisdom. Uh, insight is wisdom. Yeah. Okay, so. Oh, they got a nat twenty. <laughs> Five. <laughs> okay. <For Sophie! laughs> Wait a minute. Something's wrong here. I tie me, so I can tie you up. I was gonna tie Are myself you... up right now. He's he's with Baron. They just he decided to defect. What? What? I would like to jump out of her cleavage in unwild shape. <laughs> They're all tied up, right? Yeah. So they can't do anything. For now. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that? Is that the guy from the herd? Yeah, that guy sucks. He's on me. <laughs> uh, hearing all of this yelling, I'm just going to run up the stairs and then run up to the next set of stairs. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, so there is a staircase that leads up another floor, and then there's that iron door in the middle to where like there looks like there's another room. So you're going to the upstairs? Yeah. Okay. Carol! I'm not following you. <laughs> They're all heckling you now. Going at... <laughs> Come on, a tiny. I want a piece of him. No, we shouldn't have time ourselves. It's going to happen soon. Sure. You don't know. It's gonna happen. Show the So you have run up to the top. Let me go ahead and reveal that room. So there's four of them? Yes. Four of them. Uh I assume we're at the door. Can I <laughs> Oh gosh, what are you doing, Ben Lynn? Let me, Carol, why don't you go ahead and... Okay, start I'll open the door just to what's inside here. Okay. The top level of the barn door is an observatory with three wide windowed alcoves. The chamber houses a large telescope mounted on a revolving dais. A small chair is bolted to the dais under the telescope with an iron lever jutting up from the floor next to it, topped by a perfectly round ruby. A small wooden steering wheel attached to the chair is adorned with glowing numerals at its copper-plated center. Three larger chairs along one wall have likewise been bolted to the floor, all facing the telescope. Two lengths of rope are fastened to each chair, including the one on the dais. Chains and wheels attached to the tower's conical metal roof suggest that the strong, tightly fitted panels can be retracted, enabling the telescope's user to peer into the starry heavens on clear nights. It's clear up here. There's just a telescope and a steering wheel. I'll call back down. What would you like to do? And, or sorry, so, we'll come back to you. I would like to call out in my most dramatic voice, Stonky is displeased with your lack of faith, and then cast blindness on all of them. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh my God. What? They technically get concepts. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for giving me that. Oh, I closed out their stupid thing again. Sorry. Are they just commoners? Maybe. <laughs> Con no, can't be very good. Con. I'll roll that three times, four times. Okay, eight, eleven, nine, and eighteen. The eighteen makes it, but the eighteen can just watch as I mime taking their sight from them, and then go. Now tell me which one among you is the most faithful. What? Get out of here. What are you doing casting spells on us? <laughs> Let it... Don't turn me so I can kill you! <laughs> I'll, I'll come back downstairs. I tried a thing. It didn't work. Can I bonk him in the head with the broom to see if I just... You can. <laughs> just to knock him out, like maybe. Roll a... <laughs> then have a sleep spell. <laughs> no. <laughs> this would be the perfect spell. I got red asleep after, like, yeah. 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 Um, What's he doing, goat beat? I don't know, horse egg. <laughs> maybe you should shut up. We can't give them any more clues. Unless your clues are that you all have very strange names. We are part of a purpose greater than any of you could comprehend with your tiny brain. I'm assuming it has something to do with space and that you expect this to launch. Wouldn't you like to know? Yeah, it's space. They're going to try and do a space thing. Um, there's nobody upstairs. So I'm assuming you guys are the barnyard. We are the farm. We are the livestock and we will be the ones 
happens to have the last laugh. Yes. You guys know that other people eat livestock, right? Yes, but we all depend upon our livestock. We all so, depend on it greatly. But cool. you're going to what's the plan honestly <laughs> are, are you i'm sorry i don't i don't mean to, to to we need to keep moving but just so i can say this um I, I would like to say that i do recognize that if you're comparing yourselves to livestock we also depend greatly on the custodial team you do everything to keep this entire library running and we really couldn't do the work that we do without the work that you do Yes, well, it is about time somebody appreciated what we do for this place. But we are beyond Candlekeep now. We will go to the heavens, and we will have all the knowledge. So it is space. Um, <laughs> I'm not, that does not do anything to discredit what I said. I really do value the work that you do. But we have a lot of things that we're going to do right now, and I think all of them are downstairs. <laughs> You said there was a steering wheel upstairs. Well, yes, but let's try and make sure that it doesn't take off, and then we'll deal with the steering wheel. Worst comes to worst, we just take the steering wheel and I'll put an arm around one of the ones that's tied and just crash it into the ocean. <laughs> just um, him. Couldn't we just do that? Just Let's try and shut it off first. If we yeah. don't break the plate, that's better. But what if we shut it off? I'm going to go downstairs. What, what, did you investigate it? As I'm following you, did you investigate anything up there? What if we turn it off up there? I, there's a ring. We have to get the ring. Bo's checking out the handle. Bo's glowing. Okay. Um, you touch it or you I'm are looking at it. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and give me perception. Cindy would still have dead magic up. I there. do. Don't think she's a No, because I was hold on. Detect magic and then disguise self. Disguise self isn't concentration. It is not. Okay, good. So you really still look like I still alpaca. look like alpaca macadamia nuts. Yeah. Uh seventeen. You see a tiny glyph of warning on this, and you think it will explode if you touch it. <laughs> um, anything else up here? That looks like. Um. No, so yeah, the main things are the the lever, the chair, and the revolving telescope, and the wheel. So yeah, that's pro those are the big things that are in this room. Does it look like the wheel controls the telescope? It you could make um, an intelligence check to make that oh, go, no. that leap. The numerals uh, on the wheel read six four six right now. Twelve. Um. Yeah, I probably don't know that. I mean. Yeah, you could say that you could make that that connection that the wheel may control um, the the because you can tell that the the telescope will revolve and you can make that leap. Okay. Um, I will also mention the as you look closer at the lever, there's it's kind of set to one. Um, there's one of three slots that it can be in. Um, this the lever it's in right now is um, labeled stable. The other two slots are coop and shed. Okay. Oh, stable is in like a horse stable. Yes. That is less helpful. I was like, oh, we're in stable. That's good. It's and then stable. I was like, oh, no. no. In horse stable. Oh, yeah. Then I am on the second floor still. And are these, you said there's windows? Are those windows? Yes. I'd like to look out of the closest window and see what I see in that direction. Um, you see, like, you know, this normal sights of, of candle keep. Um, nothing. Nothing to nothing, nothing alarming me. Okay, not that you can see from that window. Either okay. window. Gotcha. Down, down, down. Okay. Carol is okay. moving his way Anything down. Else, Bo? And then's following. Where's Donkey? No. <laughs> down. You didn't find anything up there. Yeah, there's a lever that has a glyph of warning on it. See. Okay, so we don't blow up. He's saying, why would he put a clip of warning on something that's not important? I don't know, but he's trying to find a ring that apparently turns the thing on. Or it's like a ring that he uses to, that he got from Naya to pleasure his prostate. We don't know what the ring does. They made it sound like it was important and they couldn't leave without it. I was just looking out of the window. That um, wasn't, yeah. Did I miss you the the door? I'm walking downstairs. Okay, well... well I'm convinced we'll about there. the rings. Um. Okay, so... Let's say you're you guys are now on the ground floor. Okay. 
and then you are looking at the door. It's similar to the front door, mm -hmm. um, where it's an iron door in an iron frame. It's locked. Hey, what's behind here? Would you like to know? You're dead! <laughs> I guess it's not special then, right? It's special to those who are smart enough to tell. <laughs> I don't realize we killed a few of the bugs already. <laughs> <laughs> can I try to break it down? <laughs> you can go ahead and make a shrink check. Get some shell into it. Let's <clears throat> meet. <clears throat> It's times like these where you're like, I wish I had Siege Monster. Zindi, <laughs> you're you're staying here with me. Yeah, I'll I'll kind of back him up, and anybody who's giving too much lip, I'll just kind of poke them with the broom <laughs> in the back calls, of the head. The one that can see still just sneering at you all. Seventeen. Are you both? Mm, nothing. Work. It doesn't open. All right. So back to you guys. You guys are descending the staircase. Yes. And okay. Can we get 30 seconds respite since it's happening at the same time? <laughs> so, make this it's okay if not. It, I need like a, a secondary timer keeper, maybe. <laughs> um, one of those chest timers so you can just tap it every yeah, time. There you go. <laughs> um, okay, so you guys are going down the stairs now. Um, so as you kind as the uh, this unlit stone staircase curves downward, the air in the stairwell goes warmer. Are they they're going through a different map? They're going through the secret door. And we don't know if it's a separate map or if it's still the same map. There oh, is a gotcha. separate map. I'll go ahead and put you guys on that one. I've yeah, put, we'll all of your it. tokens are there, but you're not all there, but I've kind of put you guys on the okay. on Well, the I mean, unless you guys get into that door, I guess we don't really need the first map anymore. It's like we've explored everything up there. Yeah. Okay. Unless there's a secret. So I think there's some secret okay, so Benlin, as you kind of reach the bottom of the stairs, use a 30 foot diameter room opens up directly beneath the barn door tower. You can tell this is right above or right below. Four 10 foot long metal cylinders protrude from the 20 foot high ceiling, glowing with intense heat and shedding bright embers that rain down on the floor. Four mechanical constructs resembling a wolf-sized dog-headed cockroaches march in a circle around the cylinders. And let me show you these little cuties. Why is the handout not working? I'm sorry, I just fixed it and then it stopped working. Okay, it, you're good. good. I'm sorry. I don't know if I'm confident, but I don't know what else we're supposed to do if they're trying to destroy the entire library. They're going to space? I don't know. <laughs> what oh, happens if we're still in this thing when it goes to space? That's what I'm trying to prevent. <laughs> <laughs> Either we blow up and die because they don't know what they're doing, or we end up in space and I don't know what to do with that. Do they need to teleport? I'm never gonna save Naya from in space. Save Naya? What does that mean? I can't show you the. I can't show you the hand right now. Oh no! Stop. What are those cockroaches? Tell me what the creatures call. I can bring it up on Google. Um, it's a skitter widget. Skitter. Skitter widget. Yeah, they I. They don't have I like a show to play button. I. That's what I'm trying to get. Oh. The hand. The handout won't open. Oh weird. So like. I, oh, sometimes when that happens to me, it's because it's already open. Ooh. Like it. It oh. thinks that it's open, so like it'll be like Ooh. blacked out, but somewhere on the screen. Okay. Let me see here. Oh, they're cute. <laughs> oh, those are cute. I don't like the they lightning coming out of their butt. No, they're they're not lightning coming out of their butt either. Surprisingly oh. cute. Oh. Maybe I didn't get a close enough look because that looked appalling to me. Oh no, it's definitely a poly. Okay. But in a cute okay, here we go. Like cute ugly. Oh, Got it. Skitter widget. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so is that the eye and the face and the okay. Alright, all right. So they're marching around the bot this bottom area. Mm -hmm. Um they take note of you. And they all make kind of like strange noises, but they keep marching as you, I mean, if you're just standing in the stairs, they- Force donkey! Ah. 
I'm Wolf Peach. Start walking down and see what happens. I am Wolf Peach, a member of the livestock, and I am here to help Stonky find his ring. Uh-uh. You just keep marching. Oh! <laughs> 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 this guy's starting to... <laughs> and then I will step onto the last step. Okay. And you're just, like, standing there looking at them? I'm, like, moving towards this door. Okay. As soon as they notice that you're moving towards the door, we will roll initiative. <laughs> I tried to I don't know hard. if we're there yet. Did I at least get the naming convention right? Animal and then food? Animal food item. <laughs> All right. Let me go ahead and pause again while we take these initiatives. I guess a wolf isn't a farm animal. Are they all farm animals? Alpaca. It's a farm animal. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Alpaca yeah. macadamia. I am okay. rooster cashew. I think there's already a chicken. <laughs> Mallard cashew? Sydney? Are ducks really farm uh, 14. Yes. Depends on what duck you look. I think you should be honey bee honey. Oh. <laughs> We're very tied to cashew. Um, which one of you guys wants to go first? Between who and who? You and the two of us. I you have a three decks. Okay. And then that two. Eight. Eight. What is wrong with us? <laughs> You're gonna get killed by adorable right. mechanical So I think I'm probably. No. They kind of like they're they look like they activate more and they start kind of going towards I'll I'll look down since I think I've probably just arrived while you're talking. That guy, but aren't you still on the second floor? No, we were coming down. You no, guys it's... decided that we were doing this simultaneously. No, oh. you guys decided we were coming down. Oh okay. Oh yeah, I guess so I, I mean you did say like after you checked tried the door you were gonna go down. So. Right. I didn't. It's okay. Oh, do you want to be up there? No, it's okay. okay. We'll be down there. We're downstairs. Sure. I'm downstairs. Mm, so, so that's okay. okay. Um, all right. So I will just look over and see these four things. Oh, no. And, gosh, oh, should I do that? Nope. I should love to stop. Oh, all They're right. Just walking around. No, they were like, attacking us now. they were, yeah, they just kind of like before marching around. But then as Benlin moved towards that door, they kind of activated towards you guys. Okay. How tall are these? Maybe I'll wait. No, I can't really see. Let's see. Well, what size are they? Small, medium? Medium. So they're probably the size of wolves. Medium. Okay, you can see wolf sized. Okay. All right. So I don't like that they're going after Ben Lynn, and it looks like <laughs> a lot is happening. So I'm, oh gosh, okay. I hope I don't screw us over. I am going to summon Elemental. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Are you doing magnesium? I, was, I don't know. And I you can't do fire because it's in Candle Keep. Because fire is not allowed, so I will. And these are all real summon... hot. Water. Yeah, I was thinking of water elements. So this feels like extenuating circumstances, Hindi. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so. Even work. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna summon a water elemental. It's like, <gasps> and I want to have it appear in the room. Okay, so I gotta get something for. Sorry, that. guys. Uh, do a copy of Zidi and then just drag her out to where she's large. Copper. Post. I'm third in the player oh, initiative. Make it large so it's four. So you like click on it, yeah. And then that, then I guess since it can share its squares, put it in the middle. Sure, yeah. Well, because they're amorphous, so they can, yeah. they can fit within So it'll be inch. within the, it'll wrap around the, the towers. Things. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, oh God. I hope not, but we'll see. So yeah, my water elemental is in the middle of the room and it's going to swish around. And that is my action to summon it. Does it get a separate action now that it's there? I think you get your bonus action to make it do stuff. The element makes a number of attacks equal to half its spell level. Are okay. you doing 
Ponder Elemental or Summon Elemental? Does it summon have, Elemental. And does it have hit points? Yes. Okay. So it is going to take damage. Okay. Um, oh no. Upon being summoned. It, that damage is going to be 14. Okay. And why can't I math? Okay. And then speed. Oh, I can swim, apparently. Ah. Isn't that fancy? Okay, so the creature it resembles a bipedal swim. form wreathed in the chosen element, which determines certain traits. So this isn't proper. Okay, this is a different spell than I was thinking. No, it's it's summon elemental left fourth level it's conjuration. Okay, does it have anything that it can do now, or is it? I'm, well, we it's like when summon animals, so it should act right after your turn. Okay, if it's like summon beast, I'm trying to bring it up. Like, yeah, yeah. So the elemental can move through his first actions. So I'm trying to read the. It's a big long. Yeah. Thing. Creature is an ally to you and your companions in combat. The creature shares your initiative count, but it takes its turn immediately after yours. It obeys your verbal commands. If you don't issue any, it takes the dodge action and uses its move to avoid danger. Okay, so I will tell it, um, stop, stop the, co stop the dogs, stop the dogs. <laughs> and it makes an action. So it will okay. make an action. Um, it has multi-attack. A slam attack. Um, Should have slam. Yep. And so with this spell, it is a medium creature. Okay, so it can go down. Oh. It'll help. It's a little tight in here. Okay. Yeah, like a little elemental titan. <laughs> so I will. <laughs> so I get two slam attacks. Yep. Two slam attacks. I'll and go after the one. Intelligence spell modifier. Attack. Thank you. So I will look at um, modifiers. So the two that are closest to Benlin, it will start attacking. So 18 for the first one. That will hit. Okay. And then the second attack is a 16. That will to hit. Okay. So the first one, it will do a slam attack. Um, Be 1d10 plus 8. For the damage? Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. I'm like, I need one of the ones probably in this room. 12. 12 damage? 12 damage. What kind of damage? Bludgeoning. Bludgeoning damage. It's a slam attack. And it's being kind of audio. The Skitter Widgets? No, the. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right, is that it? Yes. All right, Bo. Um, and you can be back up in that room. I didn't need to make yeah, you. You could still be in initiative order, but not be in here. That's good. Um, uh, how high up would we be here? So that's 20, so the ceiling is 20 feet up, the cylinders protrude 10 feet down, um, so I would say, and I would say you need to get probably, like, to where, where, well, I guess Zindi, so Zindi maybe is crouched down and is able to see into the room, but maybe you need to move a little bit further up in order to be able to see. Okay, so I'm going to move 5, 10, 15. I'm going to jump down here. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Um, da, 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 da. I'm, Total's here. <laughs> I'm going to attack. This one. Okay. Um, 20, 21 hit. 21 will hit. And does a 9 hit? No. Okay. I think so. Um, that is 9 slashing and 1 uh, poison. Okay, now do you think construct can be poisoned or do you think it's immune it is immune also is it immune to putting poison condition yes it says condition immunity is poisoned is immune what about the damage type um it should take damage immunity oh yes it is immune to damage of poison yes because it doesn't the sword i realized the sword doesn't actually poison people it just does poison damage oh that's interesting yeah okie doke anything else 
Um, no, I'm good. All right, we are down to them. So let's see. So I'm just going to say the one nearest Benlin is going to go ahead and attack twice. First, it's going to try and bite you. That's going to be a 17. Miss. Okay, and then it's going to try and whack you with its tail. And it got a crit. 26. And a mute to crits, but nice. it's Nice. That's very helpful. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, and then you are going to take 6 piercing, 10 lightning, okay. and then you need to make a con saving throw. Jesus. You are not in my aura. You sure? Yeah, it's pretty. You need to order the bigger. Yeah, I mean, fucking do. <laughs> oh, it is a nat 20. Like, look, yeah, like, 20? it totally looks like an 8. Oh, it says nat 20. It's like, oh, so 23. Okay, so that is good. So you just take the 16 damage. Mm -hmm. Okay, then this one here is going to attack the water elemental. Okay. Um, Same thing, bite, and then a. Ding of the tail, so it's 9 on the bite, 15 on the tail. 15 meets. Okay, and then, um, so so the water elemental will take the 6 piercing damage if it takes that, and 10 lightning damage. And then it needs to make a DC, or a, a con saving throw. Well, it's immune to a lot of stuff. Yeah, that's what so I'm reading through. I'm looking through, so at it right now, it's not immune to resistance on any of those. Yeah, it's... No, no, I mean, I mean it's, uh, it can't be exhausted, frightened, paralyzed, petrified. Uh, it's resistant to damage to lightning damage. Okay. Okay. It's, it would be stunning. It's a oh, stun. Oh, so it doesn't. I didn't hear you say stun. So you're seeing, you're seeing flashing acid water. Okay, so sixteen total. So I'm down to. Yep. Hold on, that's not right. And then it's con save is oh. d20 plus three. That one. Oh. So it is stunned. Can it be stunned? <laughs> Dang it. Okay. Even though I feel like if you can't be exhausted or paralyzed, how can it be stunned? But whatever. <laughs> it's a mental state. Yeah. <laughs> He's just so shocked. <laughs> okay, and then this one right here is going to attack Bo. Say it again. Bite. Smack of the tail. 14 and a 20. Dirty 20. Dirty 20. Okay, so then take 16 damage and give me a con save. It's funny, the tail keeps making it, but the bite keeps not making it. <laughs> 16 damage, right? Yeah. That's 6 piercing, 10 lightning. Okay, con save. Oh. No, I wouldn't. Never mind. I wouldn't have helped you. Constitution. Oof. Uh, 12? You are also stunned. Okay. And that is, there's this one's left. Um, I think he's going to move forward and also try to get Benlin since he's next to the Doa. Bite, tail, 16 and 21. 21 meets. Okay, um, so take 16 damage and give me a god save. Sixteen? Oh, yeah, that makes it. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that makes it. Okay, cool. All How right. How much of that was lightning? It's ten. All right, Kirill. Okay, so. Oops. I'm going to cast Shatter. Shatter. Um, I'm going to place it over here so it hits the three... Of them, and it will hit the water That's elemental. Fine. Sorry. Nope, no worries. But oh yeah, they hit the three towards the top of the map, and just not the one next to Bo. Um, okay. Okay. So I need uh, con saves from all of them, um, but it's at disadvantage because they're made of metal. Okay, so we'll do clockwise three rolls con save, yes. and that'll be at fourth level. Um. 
Do I still hit the con, or do I hit something different for the save? Uh, only if there's stat block. It'll have a spot that says saving throws. It has a spot there. It might be higher, but usually it's just the con. Oh, okay. I don't see extra. So Okay, so that's a 17, a 23, an 18, and a 15. Uh, the 23 makes it. 17 meets it. doesn't make it, right? No, it does. Okay, so two of them make it. Two of them don't. Okay, so... Oh, no. You know what? I'm sorry. That's not right. Okay, so it's 17 or 23. That was disadvantage. So the 17 hits. Then the second roll, the second one rolled an 18 and a 15. Disadvantage, the 15 hits. So let me do two more. Sorry. And then an 8 and then a 6. Yeah, they all fail. So only one saved. Okay. Oh, and it was only 3, but yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, that's not that's not amazing. I know, right? Um, okay, so that's going to be twenty one damage for the ones that failed, and it'll be uh, ten damage for the one that saved. Maybe they're twenty one minus twenty one, and then twelve for the one that made it. Ten for the one that made 10 it, for the one. and that's thunder damage. If it matters. <laughs> Okay. Is that all, Darren? Uh, I don't think I can do anything else. Because that is an action, and I don't really have any bonus action things. Um, yeah, I don't have any bonus action things. Okay. Ben. Benlin? Burton. Uh, I'm torn between healing and attacking. Mm. We're so early in this this dungeon. Uh, it's not a very big dungeon. <laughs> is there any way to do a twenty foot cube without killing Bo or the water elemental? No. Huh? Twenty foot cube. <laughs> That's the whole room. The cube. The cube. The cube. Oh right. Um. What? Let's just go ahead and do this while you are we waiting. Time. We're waiting on you. <laughs> uh, I'm going to cast Shield of Faith on um, Gerald. Okay, doke. Uh, which increases your AC by two. You're the Thank lowest, you. right? Yeah, I am. I'm mm. pretty low. Tracy. 15 normally, so 17 now. Talk to me. Oh. Buddy. Do any of these look like they're even like struggling yet? No. No. <laughs> oh. You guys have damage. If I focus on healing, you guys got damage. Yeah. Yeah. yeah sure. I'm... As long as you're not. Stunned. Try it. Yeah. I. Let's see. Uh, yeah. You know what? That's actually really useful. Can I? I will take a tactical opportunity. Can I move over towards you? Towards Bo. Yeah. So you can get. You would take one attack opportunity, or you move on the stairs. I just need to be where I can touch you. They will not take an uh, attack of opportunity. Hmm. Never mind, don't move me. <laughs> I thought less restoration could cure stun, but it can't. All right, in that case, um, uh, this is going to channel divinity. Everyone heal for 10. The elemental too? Yeah. Yay. All my allies. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, wait, how much? Not the skitter widgets, though. Skitter <laughs> widgets. As I throw my arms out and sheets of wheat, radiate out for me. Oh. Nice. Anything else? <sighs> no, I mean, that's an action to, bonus action to shield you. Channel Divinity is an action. And I didn't move. I don't want to move, so... Can I just like kick the door open behind me or is it like locked? You can try, but it's locked. Okay. I'll even give you that as a free action to determine the door is locked. Door's locked. <laughs> okay, Zindi. All right. So I will I feel like my elemental's not doing great right now. Um, but I will have it do another slam attack. Well, no, I take an action. Haha, -ha, let's do that first. Well, um, and your elemental stun still, so you would just probably that's right. Just to cause it. Okay, um, then I will, I will take. Maybe I'll do that. 
magic missile, the one in front of my elemental, casting it at third level. The one like south of your elemental? Or the yes. one between you and Benlin? Okay. Yeah. Well, no, no. The one between me and Benlin. That's okay. the one I intended. All right. So do that. And then I'm just going to... 5d4 plus 5. Okay. Those are sixes. Five, three, four. Thank you. Because I never remember. You get third level. Right? Yes, at third level. Two, four, six, eight, nine. That's five. Nine demos. No, so that would be then fourteen. Thank you. Fourteen damage. Force, if it matters. Force. Okay. Cool. Mm. Anything else? Um, and then I will. Is Carol blocking my way on the stairs, or is there? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, then I will just move to the other side of Carol, and then that'll be my. I don't take an opportunity because he's on the she ground could, level, that right? That was like twenty feet up. So okay, I think it should be fine. Okay, just wanted to make sure. Yeah, then okay. I'm done, and then my. Elemental will do a slam attack. He's that, stunned. He's stunned. Oh, stunned. That's right. Uh, so I got to do a. At the end of his turn, he's not stunned. So it's just okay. like he is he. We're done. Past his turn, he's now not stunned. Okay. This um, what Nina does to people. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Bo, you're up. Thank goodness. Stunned. You're stunned as well, but now That's you're not. Right. Now that you're in the end of your Ooh. turn. Okay. Now it's the skitty witchies. Okay. So the two. Um, how about the two in between Benlin and the water elemental? One attacks Benlin. Let's go ahead and roll for that. Did you roll low just once tonight? I need to try. Six. Oh, no, that was a nine. Nine for the bite, 19 for the tail. That oh, tail. Oh, Yay. the tail has a few. Okay, cool. <laughs> Big ol' whiff. Then the, the second one attacks the water elemental, bite, and a tail. Eight and then fifteen for the tail. Fifteen hit or fifteen hits. Okay, so sixteen damage, and make another count save. Okay. That's two I just want to make sure I have my. So that's. Shouldn't be. Sixteen every time. You have advantage on the attack rolls if we're stunned, right? Nope. Oh, okay. Nope. I haven't attacked no anybody stunned. stunned yet. Okay. Oh, yeah. And I'm sorry, what I'm rolling for con save? Con save. Okay, let me pull up the... Uh, D20 plus 3 plus your Hold thing, on. too, right? Where's the con? What's yours? Plus 3. So it's plus 6. For me? For the one. Yeah, make sure plus 3 oh. isn't so many aura. Okay. 14. That does not make it, so the water elemental is stunned again. Dang it! All right, so let me just mark that then. Okay, so then the one south or the one next to Bo will go ahead and attack Bo. Fight tail! Uh, 10 and a 25. 25. The tail. What is with the Cannot tail? Yes. Cannot miss. It will not miss. Okay, oh 16 God. damage. Roll a con save. Plus three. <laughs> Plus the three. Hold on. And then I'll go ahead and do that last one. Carol, you're on the stairs, right? Yeah. Okay, so it's going for Bo as well. That's an 8 and 11, so that one doesn't hit anything. But if he gets stunned right here, technically it would have... He would have advantage. advantage. Okay. Silvery bars. What does that do? Uh, the advantage 15, uh, 25. You got to roll it again to the lower number. Oh, okay. Oh, I got a 26, and it was a crit that time. Well, it's the lower, like the lower like number. Oh, I'm oh, sorry, 19, 19. Oh, wait. So you rolled the first Oh, the okay. So you're saying of the two numbers, the first number I rolled, the 25. Was and then you roll a second time. Which was the crit number. Okay, so you, I take the 25. So, the 25. so it still oh, hits yeah. me. So it's basically rolling with disadvantage. And you gave yourself advantage on your save? Because of silver barbs? <laughs> <laughs> Woo, thank God for strict saving. <laughs> That's why everyone says disposal. Oh, fuck me. 15? Is that a 15? Hold on, hold on. Plus three? No, that's with the plus three. Oh, no. Hold on, two. No, it's fucking 13. Okay, you are stunned again. How much damage? I tried! 
And it was just the tail attack hit. Right. So that's the 16 damage, yeah. Jesus, it always does 16 damage? Yeah, I'm not rolling the damage for that. It's just, they, that's the recommended or whatever. Sucks for us. Yep. Oh, that I'm not rolling because you could get less. Exactly. Yeah, the less. average damage. Gotcha. Yeah. I'll try to roll from now on. Just see. if you just click it, your it's your choice. It's your choice. Yeah. Do you want to do that? Oh, I do like I hit the rolled number. Uh, or hit the title of it, I think. So over oh, has the roll, okay. you can hit the attack name and it rolls damage automatically. It's your choice though. You want to do yeah. that? Yeah. It's okay. totally. What you all purchase for simplicity, but you're right. Okay. All right, that's all for them. So then we are Carol again. Um, how did the thunder damage from the shatter treat them? It felt like normal. They, they okay. reacted normally. I'm going to do it again then. Give me three con saves at disadvantage, please. Shatter, shatter, shatter. So that's con saves at disadvantage. That's all just the same three? Yeah. Okay, so one, two. And the water element was like, what did you call me? The top one got a, tw- a nat 20, so 24. Yes. Then the second one got a nat 1 and got a 5. Jeez. And then Wait, nat 20 with disadvantage? God, I keep forgetting. I'm so sorry. I'm no, so no, sorry. No, no, you're right. It's 22, 22 then 5, then 11. That's okay, so two of them fail, one of them succeeds, same as last time. Okay. Uh, what kind of save was it for that um, one? Yeah, it'll be, be nicer to me this time, guys. Hold on. So I'm wrong. I did pass that, but I'll stay stunned because I did it wrong. But it's actually a plus four, not a plus three. Oh, And, and okay. you get that because you're in, you're doing a saving throw? Yes. You're in my aura, so you get a plus four. Okay. Um, Carol, you get a plus four, too. Oh, you're not. You're doing 24. Mm-hmm. 18 damage. Okay. Wait. 18 and then the one that made it nine nine okay so 18 that one is also that one's getting 18 and then this one gets nine i don't like these guys i want them to not be here anymore i know right so <laughs> everything would have been and then how we going again your turn again did any of them look rough um the one in between you and the water elemental looks a little bit rough. Oh, right. His hair is out of place. It looks That's about roughest. it. It's the most dented. <laughs> All right, Hunter's Mark. Uh, as I hit, well, I should hit it. The first. one you're flanking. Yeah. Okay. Was it make an advantage? It's with a water elemental. I would think you would get advantage with that. Uh, or is that the, that's the thing we always think about? You did hit, yes. Okay, uh, twenty-one. Hammer does one d eight plus four, which is six. Not a damage dealer. Um, oh, but I get to roll a d four now. So I'll just. Uh, there you go. I don't like how long the numbers stick around. Okay, so that's 10 damage. Um, and then, is anyone but me hurt right now? The you are? water element. I mean, really bad. I, I know. It's fine. <laughs> I'm just saying, you asked. I'm down 22. So, what's this first? Do a second level healing word on your buddy. Heal the word. Mm. All righty. Good to go. I need you guys to start doing more damage. <laughs> do I need damage. <laughs> I'm doing like 20 around. I know. You're trying. I just don't have a lot of options here. It's a new era. It's okay. Maybe lightning bolt. That's lightning bolt. Don't do, don't do lightning bolt. They're like, they have lightning. They're, they're robots. They need that. Um, yeah. I was going to try something else, but I want to save that. Also, they're not really so... I guess two more. They just have to, like, touch their square. So you can actually... Yeah. Yeah. Burr, burr. What's everybody's passive perception? Um, Mine's pretty high, actually. 16. 16. 16. No, oh, 16 your... is my passive perception. Oh, okay. Sorry. 22. 22. Uh, passive perception? Sure. Sorry. Uh, I believe mine's not very high, though. Um, it is 14. Okay. 
Um, Benlin, you notice just kind of based on the sounds that they're making to each other that they seem to be like, how do I want to say this? Like they, they appear to be communicating with something. They appear to be communicating with something that you can't see. And you, you hear maybe a slight sound coming from one of these alcoves. You can kind of, this alcove over here. They're talking to something. Oh, okay, Cindy, sorry. I know. Um, Can I have retroactively moved here on my turn so I'm in his aura? Sure. And then this here? Yeah. If they're talking to something in the alcove, close the alcove. The one. How? I don't know. I'm going to keep attacking that was between me and or the water elemental and Benlin. Um, I'm going to use Tasha's mind whip. Weep. On... Weep. I'm sorry. Weep. You did um, just tell me which one, one you were doing it right, but which one is it? This one here? Yes, that's correct. You can. I'm on a gym on this. Oh, I think okay. I had some rules for Mind. So. Gyms. Oh. So. 15 plus my spell attack, right? Mm -hmm. So that would be 25, no, 24 to hit. That hits. Okay. And then it's 3d6. Let me make sure I'm at the I'm at higher levels because it's a third level. I can attack one additional creature. Oh, what's that? Yeah. Touch his mind whip. So I'll get the one next to it as well. Good. So the both of those creatures must be rolled again. I don't think so. When you cast a spell using a spell slot of third level or higher, you can target one additional creature for each slot level above second. And I was casting at third level. Okay. Okay. That's is it fun. An attack roll. Yeah. It was an attack roll, and I succeeded. So you would have to roll for each. Target. Okay. So I can do that. Fourteen plus nine, so twenty-three. Yep. Okay. And this is the one that's the top yes. one. Okay. And so then, would it be attack for each one? Uh, so scorching ray is individual damage, so I would I would yeah. follow that. Roll for each beam. Ten for the first one. That was between ten line and damage. Yep. And then nine. For that is the psychic one. damage. Yeah. Okay. Oh, let me check. Oh, it must make an intelligent saving throw. I'm so sorry. So it's not an attack roll. No, it's it says. Intelligent saving throw. I am so sorry. Oh, okay. Uh, all right. Let me do that. For both of them, probably. Mm -hmm. So that's a three and a seven. Okay. Yeah, then so they'll take no, the full damage. <laughs> They're not and can't spot. they now not do They it? can't take a reaction until the end of their next turn. And it must choose whether it moves, takes an action, or a bonus action. So both of those can only do one thing. Move, oh. take an action, or a bonus action. Okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and then my elemental is no longer you, stunned. Yeah, you, these are no longer stunned. <coughs> la 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 Okay, now it's the skinny widget. Okay, so now that... Mm, no, I think we'll just keep going. Um. Okay, so the two... At the top, that one's going to go ahead and hit the water elemental. Same old bite in the trail. Wow. 24 and 16. They both hit. Okay. And then, so that's going to be, the bite is going to take 10 piercing damage. Okay. It is now grappled. And then 16 damage from the tail and give me a con save. It's down. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to meet you. I'm Goodbye, back. my water elemental. And this one right here is going to go ahead and attack Bo. Or, yeah, Bo again. That's where he's been hitting mostly. It's a 22 for the bite, 12 for the tail. Bite hits tail this fucking knot. Okay, Yay. bite is going to, you're going to take, let me go ahead and roll the damage in here. That's seven damage, and you are grappled. And the final one will also attack Bo. Right. Bite, tail. 12 and 25. For me? Yeah. There's you two have another Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, fucking silvery barbs, that shit. Okay. Um, so roll again for the 25. Okay. Tail again. 21. Oof, sorry, buddy. It's okay. I'm going to take advantage of it again. 
Um, I can cast that again, right? Because I can use. Sorry, let me make sure. I mean, you haven't smote anything, so hopefully. You're so cute, but so deadly. I <laughs> like. Oh, 25. Nice. You are not stunned. Oh, my God. You get a turn to turn. Fuck this shit. <laughs> you know, this, I feel like this is karmic payback for Naya when she was incapacitated. <laughs> like the entire shift. Yeah, Lean is back there. The like, entire thing. Oh, Bo, you turned me into a Oh, no. Oh, I hope you like stunt town. <laughs> yeah, we should think of what she's going to do. She's rolling another but ones on the tail. She's like, another 20 on the tail. Who would have thought? <laughs> you know, I would never do that. There's been a lot of crits on this one. Just, but anyway. Sometimes okay, the cool. dice are hot. Sometimes they're, well, it's probably because it's true random, you know? Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, so that's those buddies. So next we have Carol again. Okay, we're gonna shatter one more time. Shatter. Same three. Disadvantage. Oh, am I in the way now? No. Okay. Okay, so no, disadvantage. No, These are con saves. Yes. One, Can you two, that one and three. No, it would hit. Okay. It would hit you and Bo, yeah. Okay. You or Bo. A 14, a 5, which was a nat 1, and a 7. All fail. Okay. Unfortunately, I had to do this one at third level, so it is one less die. But, you know, we'll live. I've got something that's fine. I mean... <laughs> Metal die, well, don't skip me wrong. Take them apart. You would? Of course you would hear. Oh, just take them okay. apart. Uh, 19 damage to all of them. Something hardly looking. We're still, yeah, we're uh, chipping away. We're chipping away. This middle one did just crumple into a bunch of pieces. <gasps> Finally. Okay. That top one is looking really haggard. This one over here is looking okay. What was the damage again? 19? Uh, 19, yeah, to each of them. Okay. So the top two look pretty bad. This one in between Benlin and Bo, weirdly, is looking pretty good. So. Yeah, I feel like we haven't liked him at all. <laughs> uh, all right, that's it. That's it. That's yeah. That's it. So next we have Benlin. Still no way of doing it. Okay. So that alcove over there, um, is it like a tunnel? I thought it was just like the a, alcove. It looks like caved in kind it of looks stone. Caved in, looks stone sure. looking caved in stuff. Yeah. Can I make an insight check to see? Okay, so I as Rio want to know: Do they seem like concerned about something over there, or something over there? Yeah, concerned. They look like they they are keeping that in mind. Like they're fighting you guys, but they're constantly checking over there too. But do they seem worried? I mean, they're mechanical faces, so I guess the sound, the sounds they're making you could interpret as um, maybe instead of aggressive, like maybe the sound at the beginning, that's more like protective. I don't know. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna mold earth the stuff out of that. Okay, that's fine. You can do that. Kind of clears out, and if you, uh, dang it, why don't I really you... hope I didn't kill this guy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I mean, you can still run up the stairs. So you I'm can kind of see um, a little bit closer. It looks like a smaller version of the Skitter Widget who's in there just like peeking out, <laughs> making little sounds. <laughs> Did they stop attacking us because I saved their baby? Uh, <laughs> no, they don't ter- interpret what you just did as saving it. <laughs> Probably think that we're trying to kill it. Well, that was my action, so, um... Oof. And in fact, when maybe this one that's in between you and it, when it sees that you've kind of revealed it more, it, um... It can't take a reaction or has to choose, right? It's either an action so or actually, a reaction. It will take its reaction action. and lose its turn to move closer to the alcove. Okay. Um, I would like to go one, two. I shouldn't have... Oh, no, I can't go through the There's pillars. Big pillars, right? You can. They're, they're, they're cylinders, but they're giving off heat, and you it will hurt. <laughs> 
that you can, they're 10 feet up, so there's a 10 feet clearance, but. So Moldreth is a cantrip, so I'm gonna cast Zephyr Strike on myself as an action. That's well. Um, Zephyr Strike, uh, you move like the wind. I don't pro provoke opportunity attacks. I would like to go around the pillars to this square. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, okay. And am I now flanking with you or no? Uh, no, I'm up on the stairs. It does not matter that was my action and my bonus action. And so you went around the space. You went by this one at the top. Mm -hmm. Okay, but it already took its reaction, so mm -hmm. it can't do anything to you. Okay. Well, and I don't provoke a text where it shouldn't be. Any. Oh, that's with Zephyr strike. strike. Cool, nice. All right, next we have. I'm sorry, oh, but you're I not shouldn't have faked this guy. That's okay. <laughs> I need this after strike. Sorry, you It's the reason I haven't come down. Okay. <laughs> I should have. So... Oh. <laughs> I'm just saying, it would have saved you for at least one hit. <laughs> How we'll just try it. Um, you trying it. Yeah, I'm going to see the one that is right below me on the stairs um, to... Is that next to Bo? Um, so you're going where? So I'm just going to attack oh. that one with a fire bolt and see if the fire actually works, even though we're in candle key. The spell is wasted. Damn it. Right. If it does fire damage. Okay. It's like, fire spells don't work! Woo! I'd just like to point out how are these super hot then? Right. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and then... The mechanical instead of magical. I and will move... Fire. Move down the Bridget stairs to the rest of the way and True. stand by the doors. I don't know enough about how rockets work. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, chemical reaction. Okay. And so, so you're done? Yeah. All right. So. My... Do it. Um, all right. Bo looks at them and just growls. A turtle growl, which I don't know. And um, spectral cedars appear <laughs> around Bo. And is this from the Lord? No, we weren't in the Lord of the Rue. What? Don't worry about it. Spectral cedars. Don't worry about it. Are you doing spirit guardians? I fucking am. Uh... <laughs> Prepare to have a bad day, my love. Oh. <laughs> I see the satyrs in the Oh, I'm. Geez, uh, wow. That's not the <laughs> right. <fight. laughs> wow. I was like, I'm typing. Why is no one? <laughs> right. So, Ooh. every all all three of them are gonna take damage as these spectral satyrs flit around me and stab them with spears. Wait. Don't they get a spear? Drill spears. You know, with them saving throw. Yeah, I bet they're... Well, I thought you were going to axe, and I was like, it's not an attack roll. 16. Um, just that? Is my spell? That's that one that meets... This one, too. All three of them. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. If they're in that green aura, then they have to roll. If ever was, there was... A six and a two. Okay, so the 16 save. the lime green. So, I don't know if it takes half or not, I can't remember. Probably. Yeah, it takes half. So, whichever one saved will take 7 radiant damage, and the ones that failed will take 14 radiant damage. Radiant. Why not? Okie dokie. Worry about yourself. That's it? No, that's it. So that's that's a lot, but... Okay, now it's their turn. All right, so these two... So this one over here is just going to stay there. Um, the one next to Bo is going to attack Bo, and it's going to do bite and a tail. That's going to be a dirty 20 bite, nine on the tail. Uh, bite will hit if it's a dirty 20. Okay, so damage is going to be nine piercing, and you are grappled. Forgot to do the grapple last time. That's okay. I'm sure you would have been able to get out of it. <laughs> and then the other one is going to attack Benlin. That's going to be a bite and a tail. Nine tail, 15 bite. 
denied. Okay. No. Sorry, how much damage did it take? It was nine. Okay. okay, cool. That is it for them. Constitution's constitution. I still look like I still look like alpaca. Yeah. <laughs> you still look like alpaca. Do you, been, do you have to concentrate on that? I think so. No, well, no. Okay. Girl, you're up. I feel like I should yeah, blow my wand on this not a concentration, battle. So I still look like a pack of macadamia. I feel, I feel like I shouldn't blow my wand on this one battle. There's probably more stuff that's going to come up. So I will cast... This is unsafe working conditions. If these things think you are a member of their team and they are still attacking. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, can I get... Can I please get a wisdom save from the one next to Bo? Okay, whiz... Wisdom, wisdom. Seven. Okay, I cast Dissonant Whispers, and he takes uh ten psychic damage and has to move as far away from me as he can. On its turn. Uh, da 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 da. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so. Psychic damage, it must immediately use its reaction oh. Oh. available to move as far and as its feet allows away from go away. Okay, so it's going to head up towards the top if you'd like to take a, a, t- a top, a top or Um, I don't know if you would consider that force movement. What spell is it? Because it's not... Well, it's, 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 so it's using its action to move, so it's yeah. not force movement. Yeah, because so yeah, yeah, I think force would be like something physical moved it. I don't know. I feel like the longer we adventure together, the more morally gray everything becomes. Fair. Fair. Uh, 22. It wasn't until they got with you guys. Pretty good. Oh, that was 22 to hit. Yeah, Yeah. it hits. Okay. I was like, I mean, I I think that would damage if you want. I think so. Um. <laughs> One can only hope. Based on my life experience, when I was your age, I killed somebody. So I mean, <laughs> all metrics. Um, that is nine slashing damage. Minus nine. And one piercing, or I'm sorry, one poison. But it's immune to poison. So I'm scared. <laughs> four, all right. Is all. He's done mm-hmm. with your turn. This next turn is. That was Skitter me, so... Oh, that was your turn? Yeah, yeah. So oh, I'm like, I was all confused. I'm like, the Skinner Witches, I feel like they just went. Benlin. <laughs> Benlin? Okay, so do I feel like that one. I'm willing to make an insight check. Do I feel like that one that's protecting the little one is like out of the fight? Yes. You can, it does, it appears to be just, again, very concerned, looking behind, looking at the little one, and standing. Not my baby. <laughs> uh, I just want to say, if we kill this, we might get a pet. <laughs> well, I'm just trying to think if there's somebody who can communicate <laughs> these guys. Like, I don't have a spell for it, but does somebody have, like, Alfred tongues? Or... I nope. have, yeah. Ear. Yeah. I mean... You have tongues? I can't comprehend languages. Can, oh, we get can I just try a Hail Mary intelligence check to make a noise that says friend? Like the noises, to, to mimic the noises this one is making towards that one. The one you friend is really can, but I'm not going to succeed, it's but not I'm going to try. <laughs> <laughs> 13. Okay. So, I mean, you can make a sound in it, but it doesn't do anything. So I will just attack the one. Work. Is there so the stairs? Is that solid wall, or can I like get kitty corner with bow? Kitty corner with be, bow. Like, like can, you get, bow. can you go under the stairs? Oh, really yeah. There's actually another alcove over there, so you can try to do that. Oh, so he wants to go here. Oh, he wants to move here oh, under the I see what you're saying. Not right there, no. Okay. Like so, over here, this is where another alcove is. So you could get here, so but I don't know how if you want to move through the space. The one that grappled him is the one that ran away. No, they both grappled. Oh. Him. Um. Okay, I'm going to attack the. Uh, 
the one in front of me, but I'm going to do a shove, so I need to make a athletics check. Oh. Five. Oh, that was bad. Well, I got a 16 even without my athletics on fire, so he's, uh, Bo's no longer grappled, and mm -hmm. I pushed it five feet towards that alcove. Um, action. I do. Think it's a bonus action. I still got Zephyr Strike, but that doesn't really help me. Uh, how are you looking HP wise? Not good? Well, I mean, I'm 27 down, 37 down. Okay. I wish I had Twin Spell. But... Uh, can I take one step forward and then I will cure wounds you as opposed to heal? One step forward. Back. <laughs> we come together. <laughs> and then, since I still have Zephyr Strike up, I am going to move back one, so I'm not immediately in its attack range. Hang on, oh, you did a song reference. I know. <laughs> Hang on. When this one ran through the coils, did it get damaged? <laughs> so it's, it was seemed to be immune to the coils. Um, I guess. Okay. It's just got a little redder. And <laughs> again. Yeah. I'm growing a little. All right. We are up to Cindy again. All right. So Cindy is going to try something. Oh, that's... Well, I mean... Mm, okay. I'm going to try and use Mage Hand to bring the baby out with the other ones. Oh, okay. Just to push them together, <laughs> just to join them. Now, hang on. Mage Hand can only move up to 15 pounds, I think. Let me see if I can tell. I mean, I think Ten the, pounds. the Ten kitty pounds. widget is um, little. But it probably weighs more than ten pounds, so because it's still made of a lot. Okay, of then I wouldn't, I wouldn't try that. And you would know the limitations. Yeah, exactly. Sure. Darn it. If you had big bees, scanless hand. I wish. Bigby's hand. Um. I'm gonna crush it. I mean, I feel like you should get big bees hand. I think probably you do really well with that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, then um, we're gonna do Tasha's mind whip then. On the one, hold on, can I do that? It's a range of 90 feet, yes. So the one that is, can I see it? I can see it. Um, between Carol and Bo. Okay. And so that is another intelligent saving throw. Mm -hmm. Oh, geez, that's going to go great. <laughs> Negative one. Woohoo. Nine. Psychic damage for that one. Weep. It only gets the one. And it gets, often. yeah. A move, an action, or a bonus action next time. And no reactions. Yep. Okay. Okay. And we are at. Oh. Okay. Bo is going to take a swing. Take two swings with the one next to him. Hey, better, better. Who could have got that book flail? Oh. Still can't. Uh, ten. <laughs> ten to hit? No. Yep, and a twenty-six. Twenty-six will hit. Okay. No, I'm sorry, twenty-five. Does the twenty-five no, still hit? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's fun, guys. <laughs> and you're stuck. Yeah. Um, that is ten slashing damage. And it crumbles into oh, a little ball. Okay. I like that when they die, they just... No. <laughs> do, do, do we think the, the baby is hostile, too? I don't think so. It's a baby. Only one way to find out. I've been trying to learn their language, but I'm not doing good, I don't think. <laughs> um, you rarely do. <laughs> <laughs> Bo's going to move here. And I'm going to specifically designate that the baby does not take my party damage. Okay. <laughs> what do you The party damage? So that green aura does damage every turn. Okay. It it is How much when, is it? Well, it's when it starts its turn. Oh, okay. okay. Or it'll do a save. Okay. So we, that's we it? That's them, though. Yeah. yeah, they're next. So they make a wisdom saving throw. Yes. If ever a whiz there was. Okay, 16 and 12. 
Uh, 16 saves, 12 does not. Okay, so let's say this is the one that doesn't make it. Um, so 14 again. 14 if they say, or if they did not save, and 7 if they save. Okay. Alrighty, then it is their turn to attack. They're both going to go for bow. Yep. Um, eight. Pearl. Okay, so 15 and 16 nope. for the first one, and then 9 and 23. 23. Okay, 23, so go ahead and take mm. some tail damage. That's going to be 9 plus 8, 16. See, it went up when I rolled. <laughs> and then, oh, no, that's 17. the same. It was, it's been 16. Uh, 17 and 9 plus 8. 9 plus 8 is 17 damage. damage. Okay, whatever that was. Yep. <laughs> to be fair, um, though, every time it's lower, it still feels good. <laughs> and give me a con save. I believe in you. Thank goodness we have two tanks on this one, right? Oh, 25. Nice, you save. Okay. All right, now we are on Quirrell. That's me. Uh, which one of them looks worse? The one right north of Bo. Okay, I'm going to Elders Blast that one. They both look really bad. Eldritch Blast. There's a 10 foot clearance, Eldritch remember? Eldritch Blast. Yeah, so they're mm-hmm. hanging. Like, you could, off if he could move down the stairs a little bit more to see them better. I don't think Gerald wants to. Okay, uh, okay so the first beam is going to be uh, uh, 12 to hit, and the second one's a 21 to hit. 21 hits. And this is on the same one? Or yeah. One each? Okay. For two damage. Okay. So, every little bit counts. Okay, next. I was really hoping that was going to knock one out. If I could get like 18 damage from just the damn Eldritch Blast. Benley. Um, which one of these is the more damaged one? And the one right north of Bow. Directly north. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Two steps. Uh, bonus action, move my Hunter's Mark to it. Six. Oh. Death face. <laughs> That's the hunted mark. No. Oh. 23. 23 will hit. Alright, so 12 initial damage plus 1d4 hunter's mark damage, which is another 5, so it's 13 plus d8 from Zephyr Strike. It takes another one last five. glance at the kitty legit. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. Now the it. baby's terrified. And then I will step Great. into the space that it occupied in an effort to maybe take a hit for you, buddy. <laughs> so whatever. Mm-hmm. I think it's going to die. Cindy. All right. Are you done, okay. That one's the one that we have a damage bunch. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It still looks pretty, it looks pretty bad. Okay, uh, magic missile at second level. Magic the missile. Charlie. Sorry. Darkness. Yes. If there's any girls there, one to two of them. I know that one. It's pretty cool. <laughs> okay. All right. It's funny. It's, so it's automatic, right? Really this is these are five for some reason. I have five in here, so I'll just get rid of this one because I don't know what that was. Uh, 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 or... Oh shit! It was four. <laughs> See, now you know. Seven, nine, nine damage. Nine um, plus four. Plus four. Yep. So there's no four more damage. Because okay. they do one d four plus one. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. Four. Oh. Takes home. Two attacks. Fucking get the shit. Come on. Apologies, <laughs> <laughs> um, Eight. 18. Mm-hmm. That meets. Okay, so then, uh, yeah. 20 hits. Okay. Um, right. oh, shit. I'm out. 10. 10 slashing. Ugh. No. 14 slashing. 14? Yeah. It also cries out yes. and dies. Oh, I hate machines. The kitty Is that what these are? <laughs> the kitty widget 
makes a couple extra noises, kind of peaks, it starts to move a little bit further, and that's where we're we'll end for tonight. <gasps> were these in the book? <laughs> wow. They sure were. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thank you so much for being here with us. Thank you for watching. I, I, that makes sense, right? She Love did. you guys. Yeah. Thank you to our patrons, Sparky, Death's Grass, Rockleman. Love you, buddy. Rio's mom, Daniel, Meepo, Dream Lover, and Duke Rellin. Rellin? Yep. Rellin. Rellin. Awesome. All right, have a good night. And we'll come up with a tagline. Eventually. Eventually. Eventually.